the festival garland changed my outfit. Not only changed my outfit, it changed me. Wakey wakey! No more sexy time. Festival Garland changed my outfit. Not only changed my outfit, it changed me. Wobble wobble! <laughs> We love to see it. All right, what about now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> 
Oh, this is going great already. Also not cat live tweeting. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, you you should be able to hear me now. All right, um, let me put on music. Um, oh god, I'm shaking. I feel, I, I like, oof. I don't, oh. Wait. Wait, Streamlabs? <laughs> Streamlabs? <laughs> Oh god, okay, I'm super nervous today. I'm super heckin' um super heckin' nervous. But welcome on in everyone. Happy Wednesday, happy wobbly Wednesday, and thank you everyone so so much for the uh for the hype train. Oh yeah, CC, thank you so much. Thank you everyone so much for the hype train, for all the biddies and the resubs and stuff. I really appreciate that. I I I I um ah. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you everyone. Okay, let me um let me let me start saying hello to all of you. Oh gosh. Okay. Um thank you all for being here. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. Streamlabs unsubbed. Streamlabs can't unsub. Streamlabs has like a lifelong tier three now. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Um, Frida and Kiri, welcome on in. Hello, Paulina, welcome on in as well. Kat, hello, hello. Um, Gemma, welcome on in. Oh God, Frida briefly changed to pink, which, I... no, no. Oh God, okay. How is everyone? How are you? How are you doing on the uh, on this 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 fine Wednesday? I am nervous. <laughs> Thank you everyone for the hype chain. I really appreciate it. If you did get an emote, please do share it to the, um... Nikki. Oh. Oh wait, did... What happened with the second message that Kofi put in? I've never seen that before, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, wait. Okay, I will. I will. I will get there. I'll kind of go through everything like uh, in chronological order. Is that the word? Um, so I'll. I'll. I'll go. Um, I'll go through everything. But thank you so much already for uh, for the Kofi support. I really appreciate it. Oh my God. Um, Persephone, also welcome on in. Hello. Mm, Kershi, welcome on in. Sari Bot has joined. We love to see it. Um, Alicia, welcome on in. Helen, hello, hello. Uh, also, uh, Chrissy, enjoy your lurk. No worries. Also, Paulina, Alicia, thank you for the host. Alicia, also welcome on in. Um, let me see. Frida, thank you for the host. Kat, thank you for the host. Uh, Martina, welcome on in. Hello. And Jackie, welcome on in. Hope you've had a good day so far. I'm so excited for today's stream. I've had an interesting day, actually. I um, I was so nervous. I couldn't um, I couldn't uh, focus on anything. Like, I literally couldn't edit my video today because I was so, like, fidgety and all over the place. So I went outside and then I got some uh, some delicious baked goods uh, and then I sat outside on our balcony and I <laughs> watched, like, Tove stream while sitting on the balcony and I tried to calm down and then I tried to play a little bit, little bit on my winter island and it... Oh, God, it was... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, anyway, let's see, let's see. Um, Jill, also welcome on in and thank you so much for the 16 remonth, uh, remonth, remonth, I guess. Uh, Resub as well already at tier two. Um, 16 whole months and theme reveal on the same day. It was meant to be. Thank you so much for the uh, continued support. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for being a part of the community for so long now. I That's, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, Val also hello and Leia, welcome on in. Leia, I was uh I was learning DIYs this morning. I actually just I actually finished learning DIYs. Oh yeah, that's also something I did. I couldn't focus, so then I just went to a bunch of uh treasure islands and I I I um yeah. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff. My storage is now full of things that fit the theme that you will find out today. And I kind of mm, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I kind of don't want to, but anyway, we're here. We're gonna try it. We're gonna attempt it. Um, but I do love to see the chat so active. So um, I guess I guess some of you are also a little bit excited, which is great. But yeah, you saw me. Oh my gosh, see, I did not see you. But you, did you see me on the island? 
I was, oh God, did you, did you see the way that I learned them? Cause that was a little bit weird. <laughs> Don't even. <sighs> okay. No, no, no. We're going to catch up first and then do the trailer. And then we're probably going to talk about it a bunch. And then we're going to do a mood board about it. So, um, Nikki. Also, by the way, is it okay that I call you Nikki? Oh, I guess Kofi just does that now. I, I guess, I guess so. Oh, I saw you in chat and flying in. I see, I see. Okay, because um, I had to, I, I didn't have to learn all of them, but like a pretty decent amount. And at some point I was like tired of going through the rows and then I was pretty confident no one was going to go into my section. And so what I did is I started um, picking up all the cooking recipes first and then I did all the unflyables first and then I kind of did like weird groups and it was just, I was just trying to like, I don't know. I was being weird. Um... I forgot him. You don't have to do another donation for the for the for the message. Oh my god! Thank you so much. I'll go. I'll go and read it and everything. Um, but thank you. What the heck? Cal's also welcome on in. It's good to see you. Bariquam also welcome on in. It's very good to see you as well. Um, can't wait to know your theme. I hope you're gonna like it. I. I'm very, I'm very like self-conscious about it now. I don't know. Um, also, Martina and Gemma, thank you for the hosts as well. I appreciate that. Um, Jen, welcome on in. Bambi, welcome on in. Kirit, hello, hello. Um, thank you for all of the, for all of the hype. Lane, welcome on in. Hello, hello as well. And Addy, um, my browser crashed. Fun. Also, I did see that you had a bunch of delay. I hope you were able to fix it, Persephone. I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Stinko Bell, also welcome back. It's good to see you again. Um, Luxayan and Jen, enjoy your lurks. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, let's see. Bambi, thank you for the host as well. I appreciate that. Um, Shell, thank you so much for the 14 month resub. I really appreciate that. Getting to tune into your stream uh, always brightens my day. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you so much for the uh, continued support. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Annie, welcome on in. I'm catching up still, so I'll get there again later on, but thank you so much and welcome on in. Fiona, welcome on in as well. Mm. You might see me like fidget a little bit today as well, which I do apologize for because I feel like... <sighs> I feel like that could trigger a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's see. I can't stay too long today, but yay, theme reveal. Yes. Also, no worries. No worries, Shell. Um, and Vicky, thank you so much as well for the for the resub. I'll get there again later, but welcome on in and thank you so much. Um, Sedily, also welcome on in. Yams, hello. I'm at work, but I'm going to stay as long as I can. Sounds good. I hope work goes well for you. Um, Nalib is also welcome on in and thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Mm. Oh gosh. Uh, Laura, welcome on in. Kels, enjoy your lurk. And then Paulina, thank you so much for 500 bits. Thank you so, so much uh, for that support. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Kirshi, thank you so much for the 400 bits as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, good Lord, I can't. Oh, and Persephone also with the 400 bits. Give theme in a little bit, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate that as well. Uh, Laura, thank you for the five biddies. Chrissy, thank you for the 169 lurk biddies. Thank you so, so much. Um, Novis, welcome on in. Hello. Uh, Leia, thank you so much for the 100 bits. And Alicia, thank you so much for the 500 bits as well. Thank you so, so much uh, for that support. I really appreciate it. And Nikki, of course, welcome on in. Hello. Oh gosh. Oh, Caroline, I'm so sorry to hear, to hear that. I do hope uh, we can we can cheer you up a little bit and that you can just enjoy the stream and kind of let it distract you a little bit, but um, we'll welcome on in. Um, Melissa, hello. Yes, theme reveal today. I don't know. <laughs> Miguel, Zia, welcome on in. Just woke up the moment I got the notification for this. Um, so excited for the theme reveal. Oh gosh. I, 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 I don't want to let anyone down. I really don't. Um, but but yeah welcome on in welcome on in um oh my god all the resubs today again i'm like my hands are very cold but my face is very uh you won't what did i say did i say theme reveal i don't know you won't let us down oh that's what i said oh yeah well you know whatever <laughs> we'll see i guess anyway um 
Uh, also, Jen, thank you so much for the continued support as well. I'll get there again and like read the messages out and stuff as well. But thank you so, so much. Um, Dee Dee, thank you so much for the eight month resub. Um, I really appreciate the continued support and I hope uh, you'll continue to enjoy the emotes and the content as well as everyone else who decided to resub, of course, as well. Um, oh gosh, Miguelzia, thank you for the host. Shafi, welcome on in, hello. Um, Persephone, also thank you for the host. Mm -mm -mm. The music said I don't want to do this. Oh, wait, what happened? What music? What happened with the music? Was it the starting soon or was it an alert? Because sometimes the alerts seem to, um, sometimes the alerts seem to be a little weird. Fiona, also thank you for the 77 bits. Thank you so much. And uh, Viveron or Viferon, gosh, let me know. But thank you for that follow. That was a while ago, but thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. Mm -mm. Does anybody have a natural looking design code for, um, for a wood trunk? I have some on Aporia. I think they might be on the card actually. Um, also, Banan Boat, welcome on in, hello. Uh, Doozy, welcome on in, enjoy your uh, lurk, of course. Not Malin, keeping us waiting with the suspense. Where are you, woman? <laughs> Here I am, Codev. <laughs> Whew, okay. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, gosh. Um, Aaron, thank you so much for the follow and welcome on in. All right, um, Pia, welcome on in and thank you so much for the 12 month resub at tier two. That is now a whole freaking year and you have the new dark green mom badge. I do hope you enjoy it. Um, can't believe it's been that long, but I would happily spend just as much time here again. Thank you so much, Pia, for saying that. Um, I hope we're doing well, but it's very, very good to see you. Um, but yeah, there she is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Angel Eyes also welcome. Oh, Gemma, no. Angel Eyes welcome on in as well. Uh. Oh gosh, Gigi also welcome on in. Hello. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the for the for the compliments on the hair. This is literally just uh, yesterday's braids opened up. So <laughs> there we go with that. Um, and a little bit of, uh, a little bit of baby, baby, uh, what is it called? Baby powder thingy. So like dry shampoo, kind of, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Your last reveal video was actually the first stream I saw of yours. Ooh, interesting. Full circle moment today. Um, well, no way. You would have to leave the community for a full circle. Don't let it be a full circle moment. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Froggy, welcome on in. Also, um. Gemma, of course, I will also check, but thank you so much already. Um, here, because of the video of the 13 tries redoing the island, all the, the starting the island, yeah, it was like 21, 21 re-rolls. I don't, oh gosh. <sighs> that was wild, that was wild. Uh, Miga, golden choo-choo, let's go, Paulina. And you got snacks, Frida, let's go. That sounds good. Pebble Bay, welcome on in. I'm sick, I can't even smell the tiger balm on my chest. Oh no. I hope you can relax a little bit and uh, sleep. You know, if, if sleep claims you, um, I hope I hope you'll feel better very, very soon. Uh, no, no worries, Val, no worries. Finish with uni deadline, so have a break until exams in two weeks. Oh my God, Melissa, that's awesome. Okay, and here we are with uh, Nikki's Kofi thing. So I'm gonna actually do that now. Um. Let me see, let me see. Um, let's see. Don't be so nervous, we're excited too. Oh my gosh, Nikki, thank you so much for uh, for the first Kofi support and also for the second. Um, um, I think I've gotten to know myself uh, very well over the last few years. Now I have to accept myself for who I am. You and the community helped me a lot. I'm happy to hear that, Nikki, thank you so much. For the Kofi support, thank you so much. And Gemma also, thank you so, so much for the uh, Kofi support as well. Um, you know, we had a conversation about this, but I wanna be part of the hype too. So here's a little cup of Kofi. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, okay. <sighs> Let me see. Let me scroll up in my titty feed too, so I don't miss anything there. Um, I had a not so great day at work, but I'm here with ice cream for more wobbliness. Enjoy your ice cream, Pia. We got some ice cream too yesterday and I, I'm already looking forward to, uh, to eating that. Yeah. What type of ice cream do you have? If you want to share, um, 
My mental health isn't the best right now, but I sat down to draw and rewatch Heartstopper for the billionth time and I'm slowly feeling better. That's good. I hope uh, you'll continue to feel better, Kiri. Um, but hello, hello. If I haven't said hello to you yet, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Sunflower, also welcome, welcome on in, um, and, um, Banana Boat, enjoy your lyric, of course. I will not find out the theme 37 seconds after everyone else. Yes, 37 is like, why, you know? Why? Oh, Sylvia, also welcome on in, no worries, focus on driving, but hello, hello. Um, enjoy your lurk. Um, Sparks Miku, also welcome to the chat, hello, hello. Mm. Oh, also Molly Dolly, thank you for that follow uh, a few minutes back. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Oh. You okay? <laughs> okay. Um, also Mia, welcome on in. Don't worry, don't worry, you're not late at all. Um, and thank you for the host. Principessa, also enjoy your lurk. Uh, Wednesday, welcome on in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I said hey, but I think you were busy. Oh my god, not me ignoring the hey. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not see that. Oh gosh. Mm. Oh, thank you, Helen. Thank you so much. Uh, Mrs. Lady Plant, also enjoy your lurk. Um, excited and nervous for you and everybody to find out. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I can't. Mm -mm -mm. It's okay. 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 Because we do have, uh, we do have another uh, Lena sometimes. So like maybe Nikki is easier, easier. E <laughs> it takes four to five hours to learn them all. Yeah. I split it up into, I think like three or four parts and I learned like a couple of rows each time, but it's, it's so many DIYs by now. It's kind of wild. It's, it's really kind of wild. Mm, I'm playing Animal Crossing for the first time, already past my first week. Ooh, enjoy it. Enjoy. Renee, also welcome on in. Hello. Let's see. Theme reveal. Ah. <laughs> Callie, also welcome on in. Hello. Uh, I'm good. I'm very, very, very nervous today, but I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, and then Annie, welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. I uh, love to everyone. Gonna lurk while we pack. Sounds good, but thank you so, so much for the 14 month resub. Um, and I hope that packing goes well for you, Annie. Thank you so, so much. Um, and Vicky also, thank you so much again for the eight month resub as well. Thank you for the continued support. Thank you. Um, and welcome to the, to the chat as well. I was thinking about going on a walk, then I remembered it's theme reveal day. So back to daily walks. We'll start tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't mean to keep you from your, you know, from your walks. <laughs> so excited for the stream today. I'm really into Animal Crossing again. Since I restarted this month, almost filled um, all my designing slots. Oh, let's go. Design slots. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's that's very good. Um, also, uh, Witch Hazel, welcome to the chat. Hello, welcome on in. Um, Froggy, thank you so much for those 13 bits. I really appreciate that and welcome on in. I did. I think I said, did I say that? I think I said that. But anyway, welcome. <laughs> uh, lurking, listening, but gonna play some. Have fun, have fun. Andrew, welcome on in. Oh, here we go. It's time, I guess. <laughs> Miku also enjoy your lurk um, and then Jen again thank you so much for the eight month resub don't know what to say other than happy to continue to be, to be subscribed to such an amazing person and I love this community Jen thank you so much for the um, continued support as well with your prime I hope you'll continue to enjoy all of the the emotes as well I really appreciate it ah <laughs> imagine this in caps please yeah oh thank you Polina no, no, whatever. It'll be awesome. Oh, thank you. I mean, you know, it's still, even if you don't like the theme, okay, if if you hate the theme, I mean, I guess at some point we'll probably abandon it because like, it's kind of sad. But like, even if if you're like, yeah, okay, whatever, um, then, then we still get to kind of just decorate and like hang out, which I guess is, you know, yeah. 
I'll hold myself back from napping and do the very needed plan care. Have fun, have fun. Oh, oh, just tell us what it is and then we can tell you if you let us down when you reveal it later. So smart, so smart. I'm here, thank you for the follow and welcome on in. Oh gosh. Still rooting for messy core over here. I actually wanna talk about that in a second. I think maybe not. Maybe we'll pr we'll probably forget it. But yeah, um, your theme could literally be trash or absolutely nothing, and would all still be pumped about it because we love watching you play the game. You have such good ideas, and your decorating skills are top tier. Oh my god, they're literally not though. All I do is I place like flowers and trees. I feel like that's all I do lately. Like it, the Build Wars, the Build Wars episode one, uh, or like round one, really made me realize I have n I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. Um, people be out there kind of building houses and stuff i'm just trying to plant trees really you know oh my god oh i don't like how my vein kind of pops when i laugh too much Ooh. uh citrus welcome on in hello hello um i'm doing much better but thank you so much for worrying it means a lot to me of course of course i feel like okay as a streamer i sometimes don't want to i don't want to like message people continuously because okay first of all sometimes my energy levels uh or more often than not my energy levels oh lyman is running around in the background all happy and 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 wait what's her name felicity as well so cute um but yeah like sometimes my energy levels aren't like the greatest and stuff and i kind of like forget it or or stuff like that but i do I do think about a lot of the people in the community who've been around for like a while, um, a lot, and I kind of wonder if everything's going okay for them and stuff. So yeah, of course, of course. Um, but I never want to like message you because I, I, I don't want to seem like you need to be here either because this is not supposed to be like another thing that's kind of like a stress factor, you know? So I kind of, I'm just kind of, I want to give you the, the room to, I don't know. I hope I'm making sense. I, I'm, I'm probably not going to make any sense today, like during this entire stream, but when do I really, you know, I feel like if you're looking for, um, if you're looking for someone to make sense and to, <laughs> I don't know, you, you probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> um, Hazel, enjoy your lurk. Um, of course you only read the part of me getting, oh my God, Frida, not that. <laughs> Also Italian, welcome on in, hello. Yeah, not going full circle and leaving. Thank you, Fiona, thank you. Oh gosh. Also Hallie, welcome on in, happy Wednesday. Um, Artemis Angel, welcome welcome to the chat as well, hello. Um, and also Mommy Deb, welcome to the chat as well, hello, hello. Lurking while cleaning my apartment. I hope it goes well for you, Novus. I hope you're having a little bit of fun, you know? <laughs> now me thinking this whole time, uh, Nami this whole time thinking, um, oh, was pronounced coffee. I think it's kind of, it's, it's, it's whatever, really. I just thought it was more like because of like the, the little thing in the middle. They really wanted to be like co fee or co fi. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. It's not, it's definitely not fi though. It's definitely not fi. I got the cookie dough one from Erika's own brand. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. What's everyone's favorite ice cream fl ice cream flavor? Ooh, it depends. I'm definitely a sucker for like a cookie dough, um, kind of um, kind of person. But I also do love like a lemon or or something like that. You know, if I'm like in the mood for something a little bit more fresh or like ch anything chocolate or like nut kind of flavor, like hazelnut flavor, not like walnut or anything, but like hazelnut is also uh, great. Those are great. Mine is chocolate, surprise, and yogurt, and mint chocolate, and many more. <laughs> Strawberry, interesting. Also, thank you to the mods, of course, for all the mod uh, work. I appreciate it. Amy, enjoy your lurk. Welcome on in. Hopefully, I'll catch the whole stream today. Yesterday, I just wanted to take a quick nap at around 7 p.m. and slept until 6 a.m. the next morning. Oh my god, you needed it. I feel like I feel like I have to kind of do that soon because I keep like, I keep not being able to sleep until like 2, 1 or 2 a.m. A.m. <laughs> 1 or 2 a.m. Um, but then I do get up at like 8 the latest. Uh, so I'm not really getting like my eight hours of sleep, which I know I need. Not everyone does, but I feel like I really do. So like I'm, I'm like, oof. Yeah. Um, Theo, also welcome on in. And Hallie, thank you for the host. 
Oh, it says Kofi rhymes with Nofi on their Twitter page. Oh, so I guess that is the correct pronunciation then. Kofi. Nofi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nearly done my shopping uh, area. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jealous of your ice cream. You could get some ice cream, Persephone. Try and get some work done, but this community is always so interesting. I stuck at lurking, so we'll see if I get anything done. Fingers crossed, Miguelzio. Um, mm -mm -mm. I just started Animal Crossing a week ago and then lost all of my progress and had to start over. Oh no. Oh no, that's so annoying. I hope you can still enjoy it though. Um, you know, a lot of people are restarting right now, so maybe that will kind of help. I'm sure the theme will be as stunning as the themes before. Thank you, Callie, for the trust. <laughs> no worries. I'm very good at my at keeping myself from moving my body. Oh my god, that is relatable. That is relatable. I'm gonna go on my daily walk as soon as the theme is revealed. At least that's what I tell myself. Ooh. Ooh, does that mean if I really like if I drag it out towards the end of stream, you're not gonna take <laughs> just kidding. We are watching the trailer. I mean I hope. I I if I set everything up correctly. Yeah. Um mm -mm -mm. Oh, you were from Instagram. I see, I see. Welcome on in. I'm here. Also, let me know if there's like another name that you'd like me to call you. Um, uh, but welcome. Ilana, welcome on in. Hello. Uh, I just got my doggo in studio. Let's go, Polina. How? Why did you, um, why did you start again? Because I thought that you didn't like Stardew, right? I thought so. Can't think of a theme I'd hate except pink core or something, but I guess the chance is low. Equilibrio's trailer was so good. Yeah, so that this one is not gonna live up, you know? <laughs> Whoopi, also welcome on in, hello. I watched episode one and it made me excited to see you do it. You have a good eye for it. Oh my God, but not the town core builds, you know? I have a strong feeling that all of the Build Wars things are gonna be like a town core, uh, city core kind of uh, perspective build. Um, and I can't really live my, um, live out kind of the things I'm, I feel like a little bit better at, you know? So I, I'm like real, I'm just, it's going to be em embarrassing really. I'm, I'm very nervous for it, but you know, yeah, knock of Mary's still around. She hasn't asked to move out. Filbert asked the other day and I was like, excuse me, you're not moving out yet. You know, is the island theme more natural or more like a city? Well, I guess you'll see. I guess you'll see. Nearly got you to read it out loud. I know, right? <laughs> um, and Sylvia, fully welcome on in. Um, I hope you can enjoy the uh, fire armed. <laughs> no worries at all. I feel the low energy issues, but I'm also happy whenever you do feel like sending a small blip or something. Yes, every once in a while, I'll kind of like muster the courage. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send something. And then, yeah. But yeah, it's 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 like a weird it's like a weird like very thin line between wanting to kind of express that you do care about people and you kind of worry about them but also not being like, okay, so I haven't seen you in a while, so like are you coming to my stream still, you know? <laughs> like I don't want to I don't want to do that cuz like that I, it's not not the the type of like vibe or expectation that I like to um bring across to people. So, yeah. I love chocolate fudge or like, uh, oh, caramel, I see. Oh, wait, we had that conversation before of caramel versus caramel, and I still... <laughs> Ooh. Ben and Jerry's peanut butter and pretzel one is good. I've never had that before. Lemon or chocolate? See, I'm kind of the same, yeah. Like, either it's lemon or then something more like, like rich, like chocolate, cookie dough, kind of those types of things. If we're still guessing themes, how about nuclear wasteland could work for Naporia too because of the stuff behind resident services, nature taking over, etc. Um, Sylvia, I think you were also the person who recommended some or who who guessed something like that before with like, and I'll talk about that. I'll I'll talk about it because um it piqued my interest, I do have to say. It did. And then also like Mia continuously talking about the trash core is kind of giving me ideas. So yeah. Schlumpf. I, oh my, really? Oh my gosh. The Smurf ice cream, the blue one. Oh, pistachio is the best one I've ever had. Interesting. 
My cat is being really sweet and cuddly, but now she decides to rest her tiny head in my hand and I'm too excited to type one-handed. Even this message took long to write. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so cute. I don't know what's going on with my Twitch, but if anyone wants to know what Moline looks like hiding in her starting soon screen. Discord? Wait. Oh my god, that is so creepy. Ew, that looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that either. Baleen secretly got an invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. And always the eyes and mouth popping out. It's so creepy. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry you have to see it like that. That is not... Oof. Ugh. <laughs> I don't think my heart could take waiting till the end. Oof. Falling asleep after midnight and then having to get up for work at 6 a.m. No, wouldn't have happened to me. <sighs> Maween, pink confirmed. I mean, <laughs> chances are low, but never zero. I took a nap on Sunday, couldn't sleep until 2 a.m. and was woken up by my boyfriend's morning shift alarm. Even though he has the afternoon shift this week, he just didn't turn it off. Oh no, oh no, I'm so sorry. That is, that is annoying as heck. Lily, welcome on and thank you, I appreciate it. The alarm went off at 4.30 a.m. Ew. The pink in your spring sh section converted you, I knew it. <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh, Lemon Ginger, welcome on in. Hello. Mm -mm -mm. I bought it for the Switch a while ago and never really got into it, but seeing Mia having so much fun with it, I tried again. I'm really enjoying it so far. Wow. But when I was having fun with it, you were like, mm -mm, it's not for me. <laughs> oh gosh. Sky, welcome on in. Thank you so much. I'm so anxious to see the video for your theme. I feel like my heart is gonna come out of my chest. No, 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 no. It's not, I feel like, okay, I feel like Equilibria was way more, way more, I don't know, cinematic and epic. This is not, don't expect too much, please. <laughs> don't expect too much, please. <laughs> I'd love to see a city theme from you since it would be so different from your previous islands. Well, I can already say I'm gonna have to disappoint you there. It's not gonna be a city theme. I'm full of good ideas, just too chicken to actually try them and finally restart. Do it, do it, because otherwise I'm gonna steal the ideas from you. <laughs> oh gosh. Bridget and theme, wait, we talked about that the other day, Helen. Uh, I think you also were, were saying that. Also, Anira, enjoy your lurk, and thank you for the host. And also, Kara, welcome on in, thank you for the host as well. Um, a vampire diaries theme that would be interesting uh lala king welcome to the chat no not yet not yet i thought city also i knew would be a challenge for me it would yeah i don't know dairy queen had a limited time blizzard a few years ago that was cookies and cream and cookie dough ice cream mixed together and i want that back because it was so good Ooh, see we've never um we've never at uh, timestamp 1644 <laughs> um Oh yeah, because it's, yeah, it's your time. Um, I, I've never had, I've heard about like blizzards uh, and Dairy Queen and I've kind of seen it on social media, but we don't have it. So I, I've i never had a blizzard. Um, I've never tasted that. Are you kidding me with this reaction? <laughs> would you Would you leave if I did a pink island? Would you? Would, would you leave if I did a pink island theme? Because I, okay, it does, like, the you know, law of attraction, I feel like I do kind of attract the, the type of people who aren't, like, the biggest fan of, of pink either, maybe. Just because, like, the, the entire, like, aesthetic here going on, I'm not, like, I feel like a lot of, a lot of um, content creators in, like, the cozy gaming space and, like, Animal Crossing space are very much, like, the, the, like, cutesy pink kind of pastel themes, which I don't, I don't really am. <laughs> So I feel like I attract the same type of people, but also, would you leave? Just asking, asking for a friend, you know? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> it's 
spring core with all the pink cherry blossom twinsies. Listen, okay, I've been hated on because all three of my islands, all three of my islands are literally, that I uploaded as a DA are literally placed in June, which I know technically is kind of summer, but I do, I do see it more as like spring islands. So I have been hated on before for that. So I think if I, if I, if I came at you with another spring island, <clears throat> Barbie core, <laughs> uh, Luna, welcome on in. Hello. Hello. Um, pink city core. That's it. I'm so smart. Not the guilt tripping. Oh, because of the, would you stay? Yeah, I'm sorry. That was also a joke, you know? Like, obviously, if it's not inspiring to you, like, that's the entire point, I feel like, of my content. So, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna work on a journal I'm making for my boyfriend as an anniversary gift. Ooh, that sounds good, Melissa. Have fun. Oh, thank you, Barikum. Also, Jordi, and enjoy your lurk. Um, I've enjoyed my uh, trash pollution theme so much. I'm curious about your thoughts on it. I saw your picture on Discord the other day, Theo. That was incredible. That really lo looked, like, so, so good. Where are the squish mallows? It's really hard to get them in Germany. Well, there are, apparently there is a store that has them, but I feel like I would maybe would get like one and I'm, I feel like they're super cute. But if I like, if, if, if stuff is cluttered for me with like plushies, it, I don't like it. My brain doesn't like it. So, um, <laughs> oh, Jackie, I immediately had the reel that you made in, in my, in my head. Oh, because of Stardew. Oh, sorry, Polina. Sorry. You did not harm any, no. I love everyone today is just going to come in. Did I miss it? Harmony, thank you so much for the five month resub. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the continued support. Thank you. And Sleepy, enjoy your lurk. Um, and also Jody, enjoy your lurk as well. <sighs> Even my pink hating butt would stay around. Thank you. Thank you. I don't believe it's pink because it would clash with your branding. I mean, okay, well, my Instagrams, it still kind of looks okay-ish right now, but I have so many pictures I still need to post that will completely destroy my feed. It's gonna be tragic. I think you'd have to do a lot more to get rid of us. <laughs> what do you mean? You are cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they're just the thick ice cream. I don't think they add anything to it. It just has to be thick because employees are required to flip it upside down before they hand it to you. Oh, okay. My laptop is literally pink. I'd be here for it. You make as many spring islands as you gosh darn please. Yeah, you you know who hated you you know who hated on it on hated on me for it? Fell. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone, but she did. I'm just saying. She's not here to defend herself, but you know. <laughs> I love pink and pastels kind of colors on my island. Interesting. It takes a bit more than pink, but my world would be destroyed. Ooh. Mermaid core? Oh, interesting. Oh, I feel like, okay, we've got like, we've got pink, right? But then mermaid core is even, I don't know. <laughs> I love June for the hydrangeas. I know, right? It's so pretty. I love the green, like the shade of green in that season. I really do. Give me all the spring, right? Right? Same. Mm -mm -mm. Has anyone guessed the right theme yet? No. I don't know if, if, if Fal, a true hater, a hater's gonna hate. It's true. It's true. Um, I don't know if, did someone get close? I feel like we've probably had like parts of it. People might've guessed like parts of it. But also I, <laughs> I can already let you know, I think that the trailer is not going to clear things up right away. I think it's going to be... <laughs> I feel like people will be confused. <laughs> Avocado Squishmallow? Ooh, Kayo. I've seen the one that kind of looks like bones. That one's adorable. What Percy phone said, if you love decorating in a season, decorate in that season. If you aren't enjoying the decorating, we won't either. Oh, that's a very good point, yeah. I feel like you'll you'll probably you'll probably know if I don't enjoy it. That's true. Um, there are some uh, 
a toy store hero, but do I dare buy Squishmallows? Maybe if I find one I really like. Yeah, I feel like it's also kind of like an addiction though, right? Yeah, futuristic green city core that combines ruins, overgrowth with eco-friendly, sleek, modern builds. <gasps> Your theme is gonna be a 10 theme island, sure. <laughs> Try my best to watch stream and my Zoom class at the same time. Oh my God, Addy, all the, all the entertainment. Focus, focus on your Zoom class. It's going to be a no theme island. Oh my God, that would be so, that would be so anticlimactic. That would be great. Oh my God, let's do that. I will quickly make a new, new trailer and we'll just do like a no. How would that trailer look if we just decided to do like no theme? After all this builds out, it's like, oh yeah, actually not a theme at all. <laughs> Um, so leave it for really figuring out how streaming on Twitch works so I could do it someday. Do you have any advice? Um, I would say uh, stream what you have fun with, but also try to somewhat be consistent. Uh, if, if you know, it's a little hard to grow as like a very much a variety streamer, but also don't just stream something just for just for like the views, um, because people will kind of be able to tell. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, be careful who you trust. Be careful who you trust and who you let get close to you. Um, if you have like a weird feeling about someone, trust that feeling. Um, and don't like, don't just go into streams uh, because you want like a shout out or something. Like genuinely get involved in streams and don't expect anything from anyone. And and have fun, have fun. Really, mostly just have fun. Um, Jere, welcome on in, hello. Um, let's see. It's going to be different enough that posting old pics will ruin your feed. Um, the new theme also, I think, yeah, but also I haven't posted really anything from like my, the four seasons. Oh, sorry. The four seasons Island. I haven't posted anything from like the, um, from like the winter part and like the, the, the fall part either, you know, and I have a winter Island, like a completely winter Island, which I haven't, I posted like one picture of, you know? Yeah. Beautiful core island. Oh, thank you. Emmy, welcome on in. Hello. It was my guess, right? I knew it. <laughs> we should do a poll a few minutes before the reveal. Wait, about what? About what? Rainbow core? Circus theme? Ooh. Enchanted forest core? I would like to do kind of like the main part of like my Four Seasons Island, you know? Um, I would kind of like to to kind of do like, I don't know if you you do, you go all in with like witchy theme or, or whatever, but um, yeah, carnival theme. Oh wait. Oh yeah. I was going to say, wait, circus and carnival, but that's both Helen's. Oh gosh. Part of it are green mums. You think so? We have furn mermaid furniture, so mermaid or ocean core sounds super cool. Ooh, have you, um, have you seen the, um, the like reef? kind of like reef core islands that people have done, kind of like they're supposed to be underwater. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Mm, the theme is actually just a combination of everything we suggested. Yeah, I had I had no theme in my mind the entire time. And every single time people started guessing, I just kind of, um, I just kind of wrote down some stuff, you know, and then I combined stuff. I'm just kidding. Honestly, could have done that though. There were some like really, really inspiring theme like requests recommendations guesses and stuff um also nesquik enjoy your lurk uh will this island have lore like the last one or just a chill theme i guess you'll just have to see <laughs> i'm sticking to something abandoned or destroyed that's being rebuilt or reclaimed by nature yeah i saw your 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 uh, comment on on youtube too that sounds really good Here's my guess for the theme. Meliora sounds a bit like Mia, German for flowers. I predict it will be a breadcore island. <sighs> oh, that would be good. Yeah, just I think when I when I catch up, kind of. I would love the mermaid theme that isn't pink. Surely there could be a white shell or turquoise yellow green one. Ooh. Oh my god, that would be so good too. No theme is fun as well. Just do what you like and feels like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Lauren, hello, welcome on in. The no theme trailer is just your character standing in the grass, blank staring at Yeah, it's just it, with those eyes. Oh my god. Uh, did you already do some terraforming? No, I actually wanted to uh, go and like flatten the island, but I haven't gotten around to it. So I haven't changed anything on the island just yet. 
Just a video of shots of your island with no music. Just crickets. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Blank screen with nothing on it. Th that meme of some dude screaming, you, you get nothing, you lose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stream what you want. People can smell the vibes. Ooh, that's um. That's actually kind of a, a nice way to express it, yeah. Movie theme. Oh, I wish. I wish, I wish. I feel the same way about trusting you're right on point. Yeah. Another Four Seasons Island, but it's about hotels this time. <laughs> um, Malene Wells walks across the island, the, the Wii music playing. That's it. Yay! <laughs> Sparks be the wise. I mean, you know. You learn from experience, I guess. Um, Nalibis, thank you for the slurp. My dinner needs to be cooked, but I'm taking you all with me and I hope I don't miss a thing. Sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds good. Pure B, I swear I'll be one minute. <laughs> Running. Fairy core. Do that theme, I'm sure you love doing it. I love doing my Witch Island, yeah. And whatever I saw, I don't think I, I saw like a final tour or anything, but whatever I did see was incredible. Plus like your your island that I just visited the other day. Holy crap, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> Kelly, enjoy your food. Kid core, farm core mix. Big Bang Theory theme. Oh, that is kind of random, but watch that today. Oh, nice. I've seen some like reels pop up on my, uh, Instagram with that. Would you like to draw an island that is similar to Naporia? Oh, what do you mean with draw? Like for the map commissions? Um, when it's, it's like done and stuff? Mm, I just started a new island. It's going to be pirate themed. Oh, I love pirate themed islands. I toured one on my, on my YouTube and I absolutely love that one. Your builds are always uh, a surprise and so pretty. So even without a theme, I know it's going to be super beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh my God. You're all way too kind. But thank you. Magical island. Just take any theme and drench it in moss. It'll work. Yeah, I think that's kind of true. Excited to see what the theme is. Oh my gosh. A poll five minutes before you tell us a theme. Maybe two themes you thought you might do next. And then we vote which one you had chosen in our opinion just for fun. Oh. Ooh, maybe that's, that's a little too revealing though, right? I take it we've had no tips or clues for the theme. Not really, just every once in a while, I kind of dropped like a little something or I kind of said no to a, a few themes, but not really, I think. Um. Also, Harmony, thank you for the uh, mug of the day redemption. So today I have my Dublin mug uh, with all the little, you know, sites that you can see in the city. <sighs> oh my God, I'm getting nervous again. I was calming down a little bit, but I'm getting like very, um, yeah, and then I also made myself some peppermint tea to calm the F down <laughs> in my little floof mug. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Let's see. I've been watching old videos on YouTube and noticed how much you love the bean tossing kit. Uh, then we had the whole fight between rubber duck and decoy. From this evaluation, I can confirm we're getting duck core. You could literally do duck core now. I've seen um, people do like the little trailing kind of ducks. Oh, so cute. I did that in one of my Happy Home Paradise like interiors. Yeah. I forgot you visited Corey the other day. Yeah, I picked up Fauna. I picked up Fauna. Mm. No tour of Frith yet. I want to get houses and villagers sorted. I see, I see. Yes, for map commissions. I I love like to draw any map, really, Nikki. I do. My pink champagne truffles. <laughs> That's so fancy. What the heck? <laughs> Welcome back, though. Forest core or elegant core? What if you make a poll with incorrect answers only? Oh. Hello. Don't be nervy, silly goose. Ah. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, Karen. Karims, let me know. Uh, thank you so much for the follow and welcome on in. Peppermint, yes, delish. I know, right? Duck theme would be so freaking cute. And you can do so much because like duck villagers, there's so many cute duck villagers. Uh, decoy ducks and toy ducks, there's so many different duck designs. Like you could literally do a duck theme. 
Is the theme something out of, outside of your comfort zone? Um, I would say yes and no still. It's kind of like a yes and no question. And once we talk about it, I think I can, well, I can explain how I mean that. And I feel like some people might also understand how I mean that. It's just as wobbly, so it will be kind and no doubt love it, I promise. And if not, can knife. Uh, this is an Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct. Why is my heart beating so fast? Oh my God, imagine how I feel. <laughs> oh gosh. It'll take away the nerves to send me the YouTube video. Only one person less nerve. I ha I don't have it on YouTube just yet. I have it as like a local kind of file on my PC. Karen Core. Oh my God. I need a magical switch so I can do several themes at once. Me too. Me too, please. But also no, because I'm scared of them. <laughs> oh, sugar plum, enjoy your lurk. Um, I got a mug from Target recently that has small drawn cats all over it in different poses. The handle says cat person and I'm in love. Oh, that sounds so cute. Hello. That sounds so cute. And Nichelle, thank you for the follow and welcome on in. Um, an imitation craft stick. Welcome to the stream as well. Glad to catch the stream. I've really enjoyed your YouTube videos. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. <sighs> Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I've, I've caught up now. This is not good. I'm not ready. Please tell me what theme you get. I'm so excited. Soon. Soon. I don't know how to do No, there's so many people here. No. I'm gonna cry. Oh no, it's gonna be embarrassing. What if you don't like it? You're gonna be like, no, we're gonna like it. But still, Luke, you're Spielberg. Oh. Oh, confetti. I uh, should feed my dog when play, paying too much attention to the stream. Do it. Yes, do it. We will all close our eyes and just listen. Does that make it better? I don't know. <laughs> Buggy, hello. It's good to see you again. I've got an hour long meeting that starts in 30 minutes. So, you know, let's do this. <laughs> Someone spammed the chat so Melina isn't caught up. I see. Squiddo, hello. Before you get worried, you should show us a trailer. <laughs> you better get yourself ready before we riot. Rip off the band-aid. Oh my gosh. My roommate wants to start cooking together. I'm gonna miss a reveal. Oh no, how rude. <sighs> Please, I'm starving, withering away. I have to go eat lunch, eat lunch soon. Oh, not that. <laughs> Angie, welcome on in. No, you haven't, you haven't. Uh, Jojo, hello, hello, hello. Even if we don't like it, it won't matter because you're going to rock it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Perception's like, no, the opposite of this. We need to see. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me see. Oh god. Um, watching on iPad and iPhone now because the delay is too much for my heart. Oh god. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, where did that message go? Oh, oh, was that was that oh yeah, that's that was a swear word. No worries, but Kitty, welcome on in hello. I didn't see what it said, but welcome on in. Meliora sounds definitely ocean-like. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're on a magic ride. I have buttons playing on repeat in my head from the Pussycat Dolls. Push the bu- oh, push the button. Has someone guessed Water Corp? We've been talking about like ocean, or ocean and mermaid, but no. Oh, thank you, Paulina. Impulse subbed. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the support. Enjoy the emote. Enjoy the emotes. Atlantis theme. Oh my God. Gotta go join the others for cooking. This is heartbreaking. Oh no. It's time to take a break. Butterfly, welcome on in. Oh gosh. Also, Trina, thank you for the self-care. 
Gender reveals are less nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not that. I'm gonna delete my channel core surprise everyone. Ooh, imagine. Imagine I'm like, okay, I'm gonna push the button and then I just stop streaming and I'm just never, never to be seen again. Okay, wait. We need in-game sounds. So it's not awkwardly quiet. We should throw an Animal Crossing theme reveal party the next time. Yeah, I, I, could you imagine if she went on a break right now? Oh, ad starts in two minutes. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Wait, I'll actually run an ad now and wait until it's over. OK, so that it doesn't it doesn't just happen um, when the trailer is playing, because that would be super, super, super bad. Um, it should show me when the ad is over, so I hope I'm not gonna like accidentally show it when it's still going, but we're gonna just wait a little bit, okay? Um, and play it once the ads have like passed. Lujos! The, the trailer is just gonna announce a theme trailer coming? Never. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, thank you so much, Kitty. I hope, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the, um, the emote. Mmm. With the clicking and happy breathing, oh no! <laughs> that would be so iconic of the trailer ran during an ad break. Subs only? No, no, I don't want to do that. That is, that's so mean, that is so mean. I can imagine an island with lots of ruins. Yeah, kind of like the witch core. I was going to Treasure Islands earlier and I saw the... Um, the the ruin items standing there and like that i don't know is it black or like dark dark gray kind of stone with like the red vines and that like that sounds or that looks like incredible i feel like that would be a very um that would be a very good a very very good um type of inspiration for a theme police <laughs> ad still in progress it tells me you know it's mean but it would be funny i guess i guess <laughs> atlantis core is my final guess why do I just keep picturing the meme? Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. <laughs> we'll be doing any mood boarding. We will. We will be doing mood, mood boarding. Yes. What is the island name again? Meliora. Okay. I think, I think everyone should be, should be, um, should be out of the ads now. At least it, it tells me that. <laughs> Barbie mermaid movie theme. <laughs> I was gonna say, Polina, you know it. Oh, you know it, you know? Renee, welcome on in, hello. Um, and Callie, welcome back. My God, why is it so active right now? Hold on. <laughs> Stop. Oh gosh, uh, Rosie Dawn, welcome to the chat. Emmy, thank you for the slurp, everyone. Take a zip of whatever beverage you have today. I can't without knowing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's how you know everyone is back. I know, right? Um, Mia, welcome back. I don't want to take a sip. Not right now. Tell me. <laughs> Spanish ocean side vibes, maybe, is my second guess. Trash court is my first guess. I know, right? The chat is so fast. <sighs> Ooh, um, lad die Seite nochmal neu, René. Normalerweise kommt es dann meistens. Um, aber danke schön. We wait until Renee's reset comes. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm begging. <laughs> Theme is Chad drowning in tears for lawlessness. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, we don't. <sighs> Stop delaying. Not with the. No. Wait, where is the alert? Oh no! Why 
why is it not popping up? <laughs> Renee, thank you so much for the 10 month Risa. What the heck? Where is it though? Thank you so much for the continued support, Renee. I don't know why that didn't pop up. I guess, uh... <sighs> Please don't be broken. Technical difficulties now. Ooh, Sky or Cloud Core? Ooh. Isn't Colleen doing that? I think Colleen is, is doing that. <laughs> I'm sitting here cackling at my screen. Okay, do I... do I... Do I press the button? Colleen, <laughs> like... Colleen is, I think it's almost finished. Wow. Streamlabs quit the job because of excitement. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Mach doch jetzt! Hallo! But what if you don't like? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll press it, okay? I don't know how the volume is, by the way. <sighs> Come on, some portion. <laughs> okay, I don't know how, how the volume is. You might have to turn it down or up or I don't know. Um... <gasps> Look at the fluff ball. Harmony, thank you for the 300 bits. Okay, okay, okay. Um... I'm gonna cry. All right, I'll see you after, I guess. Once upon a time, far away in the distance, lived a young witch who had dedicated her power to lifting the curse of a land soon to be her home, soon to be many's home. But she couldn't shake the feeling that there was something else out there waiting for her, something that required her help. And she would soon set out to find it. A land different to all the others, dull, without color, simply drained of its life. And she knew, she felt it, she felt that this was her new purpose, even if it meant having to learn new magic and adapting in ways she never considered before, she would do it. Breathe new life into this land, rejuvenate it, restore and preserve the colors. She was going to make it better. Hi. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> Chills. Oh god, I'm shaking so much. What the heck? Okay, anyway. I don't think you can see it, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so, um, fairy core, colorful rainbow. <laughs> oh, it made me think of Avatar. Ooh. Fairy core, rainbow core. <laughs> I, I can't keep up with the chat. What the heck? Okay, anyway. Okay, the stream is over. Bye. No, just kidding. Um, all right. Um, Fiona, thank you for the 10 videos. Um, I still have questions though. Yeah, so I was gonna, um, you are definitely getting closer now. Um, I was just gonna ask you, after seeing this now, what do you think it is? <laughs> The return of the of the Queen Witch. Bring back my colors. Okay. Mm, play the trailer again, please. It's so good. Elf core. I saw pink. Okay. Uh, Bethany also welcome on in. I missed a lot of messages. I tried to scan as much as I could. Ooh. Um, I tried to scan as much as I could. Um, thank you for hanging out, Emmy. Thank you. Um, we'll we'll watch it again. We'll watch it again. Yes. Uh, this is unfair. Wait, why? Oh, we need to go to dinner. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, magical fairy core, almost hobbit core, Barbie fairy topia. <laughs> um, enjoy your dinner, Polina. All right. So, um, let's see. Let's see. At four colors island, each corner is separated into four colors. Why did my coworker just call me? Did I miss anything? Did you see the trailer, Kara? Did you? <laughs> Barbie Fairytopia would be so... Okay, color, core, co co core, color. I see what you did there. Um, 
All right, so, hello, Philbert. <laughs> I'll show it one more time, okay? And then we'll we'll chat about it. Does that sound okay? Oh my God, are you gonna keep Philbert? Is he gonna get the blue part? Maybe. <sighs> okay, okay. I'll 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 um I'll. Can you make it louder? Okay, I can try and make it a little bit louder. Um, let's let's watch this one more time and then let's talk about it. <laughs> Once upon a time, far away in the distance, lived a young witch who had dedicated her power to lifting the curse of a land soon to be her home, soon to be many's home. But she couldn't shake the feeling that there was something else out there waiting for her, something that required her help. And she would soon set out to find it. A land different to all the others, dull, without color, simply drained of its life. And she knew, she felt it, she felt that this was her new purpose. Even if it meant having to learn new magic and adapting in ways she never considered before, she would do it. Breathe new life into this land, rejuvenate it, restore and preserve the colors. She was going to make it better. All right, so welcome back. <sighs> oh gosh, Storybrook, Rainbow Island. Oh, thank you, Bucky, thank you. What's the witch hat called? I think frugal hat. I think it's called frugal hat. Party core. <laughs> I have questions. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. Felicity can stay, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, thank you, Jackie. Half of the island is going to be dull and half is going to be colorful uh, work in progress. All right. So shall we talk about it? Something with different colors. Meadowcore for sure. It's okay to cry, right? If you want to. First of all, let me just say thank you everyone so much for the, for, for the hype, for generally for being here for this today, for being like as excited as me maybe i don't know <laughs> um and for all of the very very sweet comments already um and of course we're going to talk about it today's dream we're going to talk about the theme um and afterwards we're going to do a mood board uh for because i actually haven't done a mood board just yet so i kind of want to go through all of that with you tell you about all of the uh thoughts i have in my in my head but um yeah so um if we talk we need to take a seat that was a lot that was a lot okay i think that is a good idea um, you might see a little bit of the items that I've planned already. I, I was going to Treasure Islands earlier um, and I picked up a whole bunch. We'll just... Actually, let's get a little bit more comfortable, get the log chair maybe. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. It worked. Did you want to see that? I'm okay with that though. I mean, you know the theme now, kind of. Not really. Um, but yeah. Alright. Um, it's giving ballet core, spring core vibes. Also, um, Theo Ellison and Kami, thank you for those uh, for those follows and welcome on in. Um, and Proud Mama, welcome on in as well. No worries, I'm here. Thank you for hanging out for a bit though, thank you. If I missed anyone in the chat, you know, I do apologize, I really do. Um, but it's good to have you here and um, let's talk about it, let's talk about it. This little witch is gonna change the world one island at a time. All right, so as you already guessed correctly, um, this is going to basically be in the same kind of world that Equilibrio exists in because the main character is essentially the same witch kind of. Um, so this island also just like Equilibrio will kind of be like the, the trailer that you just saw is really just kind of setting up the lore and setting up kind of the background information for it and the island that will hopefully one day be finished as a DA will kind of be like the, the saved rescued kind of island. Um, so just as like a little explanation on that one. Uh, Ghosty, welcome on in, no worries. Um, we did just watch the uh, the trailer, but I'll show it again later, but we'll talk about the new theme for a little bit yet. Uh, no, yet. <laughs> uh, I love that you made the connection between the islands, makes it even more special, thank you. Uh, a light colored items, pastel. Mm -hmm. And I like to speak the things before they're uh, finished, but it's gonna be a masterpiece, thank you, Jackie. <laughs> It's like you created a whole universe. I don't know. My brain does things. My brain does things. Dom, you're not part of this. Go. 
All right, so here is my uh, here's my idea. The the name for the theme, it's not really the shortest name, but the name for the theme is going to be Color Coordinated Fairy Meadow. That's kind of like, I don't know, I tried to kind of include all of the different elements, but not make it too long. So we'll see if that one sticks or if we'll change it along the way. Um, but basically what I want to do, so first of all, um, you saw in the trailer that the uh, the trailer was kind of in that time after the snow has just melted, which means um, weird how nobody guessed that. <laughs> I mean, you were getting close with like a few fairy fairy core and like color colored kind of uh, island ideas like towards the end now, you know? Um, oh, thank you everyone. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Rainbow and Fairy Core was really getting close, Hallie. It really was. Um, so, and basically my idea is that we are going to have um, color themed areas according to the in-game flower colors. Um, and okay, how do I explain this? So I want to, Dom, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, thank you, where we come. Also, Summer Suns, welcome on in, and thank you for the uh, for the slurp. Um, kind of feels like home and familiar, but new and exciting, just like how Egypt Moline streams feel. Oh my god, thank you, Gemma, thank you. Atlantis Core was very off, and now I kind of want to do that as a theme myself. Do it, Hallie, that sounds awesome. Ooh, Color Core, yes, Addy, let's go. I love the end of the trailer when you say that the island is being made better, and then Me Meliora blends in, it's perfect. Yeah, because Meliora means, like, to improve something, to better something. And so while I say better, it's kind of, you know, Meliora. So yeah, I didn't hear the theme. My flatmate just came back. So we're calling it Color Coordinated Fairy Meadow. And uh, I'm just trying to kind of explain some of the ideas. So in the in the trailer, you kind of, I was gonna take a sip of my tea, hold on. Let's take a breath. Let's take a, let's take a deep breath. Dom enjoying the spring vibes before the witch eats him, yep. Oh, oh, he running off, but Felicity's here. So, um, in the trailer, you saw that time after the snow pr pretty much melts, but the island is actually not going to be during that time. That was just kind of to show an island without color. So the new, the new challenge and the new curse is, um, is basically that this, this island has been drained of color, which obviously right now it kind of doesn't look like it, but trust me. Okay. <laughs> um, and um, and the witch is is the one who kind of brings all the colors back now because uh, because she has to kind of learn new magic and tap into some new skills and kind of um, you know like uh, how do you say it um, channel some some new power sources and stuff she kind of transforms and uses a lot of more like lighter magic which is kind of like just the explanation that i came up with to um to have her dress a little bit lighter and stuff um so the character looks much more like a like a fairy kind of than uh, a witch this time around but it is still the same Moline as with the equilibrio island um, and basically, I'd like to have it so that um, there is going to be like a ring of landscaping around the island with the different like color themed areas. Uh, we are going to have red, orange, yellow, pink, purple, and blue areas um, with uh, different villagers. The villager lineup is something we do have to chat about today because stuff has to change because uh, I had way too many like jocks. <laughs> and... Um, my house is going to be right at the entrance uh, and you might you might have noticed that there is a couple of color flower color flowers flower colors uh, that are that are kind of missing in in that description also Joelle welcome on in hello um, pink core as I said I mean at least for like a part of it uh, and those are basically the white and black flowers and the green so number one the green um, we are not going to have like a separate um, what happened with my message? Wait, what happened? What happened? What happened? I need to create more storylines when I'm building. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, so green is not going to be like a separate area because my idea is kind of uh, that green is just going to be part of all the areas. Um, uh, orange was in it. So red, orange, yellow, pink, purple, and blue. 
Uh, so yeah, and then green is just going to be like everywhere because the color like has been returned and green is just the color of nature, which has been brought back into balance kind of. Um, this is basically because of uh, design code space, <laughs> because we're going to have more like separate areas than on equilibrio kind of. So I, I can't really have like separate pathings for each area. So we're going to go with like a basic basic green color and also probably some like, I don't know, cobblestones uh, with some flowers in between or something. I have like so many codes saved. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, no worries, Annie, sounds good, sounds good. I have too many jocks and I'm so invested in my current island. I'm not sure what to do to replace them. Oh, I feel that. I had a lot of jocks in this lineup too. Um, but yeah, thank you, Kelly. Thank you. I just told Danny the theme and he asked if there will be unicorns. No, no, Julian. No, 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 no. Um, thank you, Mia. Um, and then we will have, as for white and black, we will have Fleury and Hamfrey as a couple um, at the back of the island. And they are going to be functioning, functioning as kind of like the um, balancing... Uh, kind of source, you know, so they're like the neutral parts of the island that help kind of the rest of the colors shine a lot more, if that makes sense. So they're going to be like the black and white areas. So we're pretty much going to have like red, orange, yellow, uh, pink, purple, and blue, like villager areas for the colors plus black and white. Um, and then what I want to do is in the middle of the island, I want to create like, um, I want you to be like to walk around all over the island and then kind of be able to go down an incline or something and then have like a big uh, colorful meadow in the middle. So uh, lots of flowers. I mean, there's going to be like trees. There's going to be waterscaping, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Felicity is judging us. I know, right? <laughs> so um that is that is pretty much the idea um I'm, I'm i think i'm forgetting stuff oh yeah um the time that this island is going to be placed is i think going to be the start or like middle of september so the very start of fall when everything's still green but the weeds are kind of like different to the ones right now um and it's going to be at like 6 or 7 a.m so it's like a very soft kind of blue sky uh, which in my opinion looks very like magical and stuff. So yeah, and then I am, as you might've seen from my storage very quickly, I am definitely going to go and try and gravitate more towards some light colored items. So usually, you know that I always kind of choose the darkest customization. I'm gonna try and not do that this time because everything's suppo supposed to be like very light and airy in the end. So um, yeah, I can kind of give you like an id, like a like an insight into my um, into my storage in just a second. But yeah, um, my screens once again combined themselves. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Persephone. Is Diana the pink and white deer? I think she'd be perfect. There are a few villagers I do have in mind that I absolutely need to have, uh, which I'll I'll let you know about. But yeah. Oh, thank you, everyone. A fall island. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's still going to be like a green island, but yeah. Kind of pastels, although... So my plan is that for like the um, the middle part, the or well, yeah, the middle part as well as like the entrance, it's going to be much more like a very just soft color. There's not going to be too many colors in the entrance part just yet. Um, and then all of like the accessories will be kind of like light colored wood, kind of maybe white colored wood or um, just very like soft looking things. Um, so I've been picking up a bunch of like lighter customizations of things. I'm not I'm not done yet either, but you can kind of see that, you know, a lot of these like plain uh, party lights arches because I feel like they're super pretty. And then you can already spot like a couple of uh, colorful items because obviously we're going to have to create color themed areas. Uh, which for some of them is going to be super easy, I think, um, or like, well, easy. Uh, and for others, it's going to be more, more complicated. I do really want to use like a bunch of uh, mush parasols. So that is going to be interesting. Um, I did pick up like the, the very light colored weed fields because I think they're quite, they're quite cute. We do have hyacinth lamps that I'm planning on using. We'll see. Uh, and then pretty much nothing back here. So... That's kind of how my storage is currently looking. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> 6.30 is the best time in this game. Love how it goes from muted to a fresher version of a sunset bright light. Yes, right? Yeah. 
Do you think you'd ever do a Halloween or Gothic island? Ooh, I don't know. The villagers are the most interesting part for me. Yeah, Flurry is always going to be there. Flurry is definitely always going to be there. Let me just quickly check something. Okay. Oh, this that's interesting. What the heck? Okay. Um, Clouds, thank you for the follow and welcome on in. Uh, oh. Oh, thank you, Persephone. Thank you. Yeah, I think also today's stream, I'll pl I'll split up into two uh, separate videos. Number one is going to be just like the uh, theme reveal with like the trailer and explaining stuff and talking about it like we're the thing that we're pretty much doing right now. And then number two um, is going to be like creating a mood board for your island because it's generally something I like to create for every island that I've, I've made so far, um, except... I haven't done it for my winter island and maybe not for offline. I'm not sure, but um, I usually do it either on Canva or like in game. But yeah. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I should do some uni stuff first. Do it. Highest and lamps. I know. <laughs> I know. We'll try. We'll try. Um, oh, thank you, Kiri. Thank you. But no worries. Go, go back. Go back. <laughs> Um, I've been binge watching your YouTube. I'm so excited to be here. Welcome on in clouds. It's good to have you. Thank you for checking out the, uh, the Twitch channel as well. Uh, your theme is completely out of my personal comfort zone. Makes it even more interesting. Oh yeah. Comfort zone. Thank you, Bambi. So, um, you asked me if, um, this new island is going to be out of my comfort zone. And I said yes and no, because number one, let's start with the no part. No, because it's going to be a natural island. It's going to be like an overgrown island, lots of flowers, lots of, you know, weeds, and I think probably the glowing moss as well, you know, lots of trees, uh, landscaping, however I kind of want to, and all of that kind of stuff, which I do feel very comfortable with. Plus, there are going to be like, uh, I, you know, areas with colors that I've kind of worked with before. Um, but also, it's not it's out of my comfort zone because uh we are definitely going to be working with a few colors that um i'm not really used to i think i saw christy kind of be shocked about the purple <laughs> i'm pretty sure that people are a little bit shocked about the pink as well so you know pink and purple those areas are going to be like kind of a challenge for me um plus of course you know working with design codes when you're basically creating um well i guess we have like this six seven eight different like color coordinated areas plus like the middle section so like nine ish areas is that you know the custom custom codes will also kind of be interesting to work with so it's a yes and no with the comfort zone um but i i am i'm excited to work on it i don't know i'm i'm very nervous too and um i also feel like maybe we won't be able to kind of start and like do the most type of stuff just yet because uh of the build wars thing um so yeah we'll see we'll see oh thank you eli thank you um and lady plant enjoy the lurk can we talk uh about a second how creative you are no <laughs> oh you were wrong it's such a unique and amazing theme thanks for always be uh, being such an inspiration and stuff down to yourself you're awesome get used to it <laughs> no <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know. I'm like very, I don't know. I get very like self-conscious about these things. Um, what else? I feel like I wanted to share some other stuff. Let me think. Let me think, let me think. My mind is empty now. <laughs> My mind is empty. But yeah, anyway, that is kind of like the lore that I come up, came up with. So it, it exists in the same uh, world as Equilibrio, but it's going to be a much more, um, I guess, colorful and like I said, kind of color coordinated kind of fairy vibe. Um, so there was that. Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about inspiration. So um, I do want to say uh, that there are definitely two people that I can pinpoint some inspiration towards to. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. But um, I would like to, to say, first of all, Diana Daly's has been a big inspiration with the entire like meadow kind of 6, 7 a.m. kind of vibe. 
um, because she's kind of been creating some islands kind of in that aesthetic and also with like more lighter themed items and I've just been I've loved I've loved seeing it and I've kind of had this like craving of creating it myself um, so I do want to point out Diana. Diana is an incredible streamer uh, here on Twitch as well as a content creator on YouTube. So definitely highly, uh, highly recommend them. And then the second person that I do want to say is breadpoons.crossing on Instagram. They already inspired me for like uh, my plant core island and like my more like overgrown green kind of builds. The funny thing is they actually just posted what seems to be another kind of um, red... Uh, red themed kind of mushroom build <laughs> that happened on the DLC uh on, in the DLC which is super funny because I was gonna say that um they actually um or he actually I see the pronouns uh, he actually created kind of a DLC build a while back now like it's been a decent amount of weeks or months uh that was I think for Melba like a like a I think it was red and pink kind of like a mushroom area uh, which has just kind of stuck with me, like the color coordinated kind of mushroom stuff. So um, I would like to point those two out. And then I do think that a big, big part of the inspiration was for sure, like the Four Seasons Island, just seeing how much fun I had with like challenges and like I like areas, like tiny separate areas that are kind of in a, in a more um, specific kind of color scheme. I had a lot of fun with that. And I also had this, this feeling of, okay, how can... <laughs> Persephone! <laughs> I ha I mean, I, I did have this feeling of like, okay, how can I top that? How can I kind of uh, live up to that? Because like, especially towards the end, uh, Equilibrium did receive a lot of hype. So my brain was like, okay, instead of doing five areas, let's do more separate areas. Um, and then I think Wobbleton is kind of also part of it because we are going to be using a lot of mushrooms and like a like different uh, kind of colored mushroom areas and stuff. So yeah. I think that was that was what I wanted to add. Um, oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you. Welcome on in. Thank you, Martina. Relatable, but but as you said, no. <laughs> oh gosh, and I have a mushroom theme. Let's go. Mm, before we dive into making the mood board, what are your thoughts for codes? Are you making sure to have X amount of codes per color or anything like that? Yes. Yeah, so. At first, I started thinking kind of like Equilibrio, you know, each section is going to have like different codes and different kind of um, pathing or stuff like that. But with nine separate areas that would have kind of led us to just around 10 plus codes for each section, which kind of sounds like a decent amount, but 10 plus codes means pretty much one nine tail pathing and one one filler code. For um for each for each area, which obviously we wouldn't have to go with like a nine tail pathing, but just thinking about it kind of um in order to make something really live, I think you need a few more codes, like just a few more. On Equilibrio, I kind of had like around twenty per per uh, area, and um so I was like, okay, I don't think that's gonna work out. So my thought is that we are gonna have like maybe two or three separate uh, kind of general pathing codes for the entire island that are going to be more um like grass options like green grass with like some flowers on it or stuff like that or some like cobblestones with flowers and then for each section i think we're gonna have um five ish codes a little bit more maybe um that might be kind of blanket codes or stuff that we can use on circular pathing um or like just filler codes you know like flowers and stuff um so yeah, that's kind of like the idea that I was having. Uh, so we we don't have a lot of codes per area, but yeah. Wobbled and lives on, sort of, yes. Um, oh, thank you, Sky. Thank you for hanging out, no worries. Dom really wants the attention, Dom and Felicity. They're both not staying. Uh, I'm completely new here, found you in our last stream. I just can't believe this amazing world you've created. The trailer alone is mind blowing. I'm so glad I found you all. Oh, thank you, Cole. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for uh, coming back to the stream today as well. Thank you. Um, I'll show you again, Emberly. I can show you Um, I can show you the trailer in a second. Uh, can I clip the trailer and put it in the trailer command or uh, rather not? Um, no, I think that's okay, yeah. Mm, that makes sense because you can uh, use neutral filler codes at work. You can get neutral filler codes at work everywhere too. Yes. Uh, maybe the leaves that I always use. 
<laughs> making it there sounds good sounds good okay we are yeah Paulina yeah um an ad is starting soon so I may I may wait a little bit on showing the trailer again but yeah so um what are we going to do today? So I'd like to create a mood board with you on Canva pretty much. So I'm going to switch the screen in just a second and kind of we'll go on to Canva and like we'll just kind of design like a like a separate kind of area or like a separate section on a on a canvas for uh, for each of the for each of the areas. And I'm going to show you kind of how I usually do that, but it's going to consist of just like a few colors, maybe some um, some in-game, uh, not in-game, sorry, some some elements you can find on Canva or also some some kind of game items. I'm going to, uh, like in a separate window, I'm going to kind of download like maybe some of the, the flower pictures and we're going to kind of put it together. I usually use these to kind of uh, look back at and, and just to kind of bring a concept to life almost. I feel like usually uh, an idea starts somewhere in my head triggered by something. <laughs> That can be another creator, that can be an item in the game, that can be a general vibe, a color, anything like that. But I usually do have to kind of narrow it down a little bit more and kind of put it to, well, paper, digital paper, if you will, uh, to kind of pinpoint where the idea is, is kind of going. Uh, so that is kind of what we're going to be doing today. And meanwhile, we're going to be, uh, we're also going to be putting the villagers on there. And um, we're gonna be talking about kind of like who we want for the areas and um, all of that. So like pr practically, we are gonna be bringing what I put in the trailer and kind of what I have in my mind to life and hopefully then work towards like an end product of the mood board. But yeah, um, this is my first stream. I just wanted to say that I'm glad I joined in. Ghosty, it's good to have you. It's good to have you. Um, can you tell me the concept again, please? Like I wouldn't know, but still, please, I will do that again in a second. I'll show you the trailer and then quickly kind of, uh, kind of frame it again. Yes. Mood boards are so amazing and such a good way to visualize your thoughts. Yeah. Also, usually my mood boards aren't actually the most kind of aesthetic looking thing. Um, I might create, cause Jackie, you did inspire me to kind of maybe create like a more, pr like a prettier version for, I don't know, my Instagram story or, or something. Um, but yeah. Kevin, Kevin was coughing when you talk about, not that again, <laughs> Kevin, no worries, Laura, no worries. I did that with Frith too. It helps so much to have something that's more than just an in-game mood board. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, so I'll show you the trailer again um, and quickly frame the idea and then uh, we will, we will um, probably take like a brief break after and... And then start the mood board and I'm excited. All right, excited. I'm exciting. I don't think so, but I'm excited. <laughs> All right, ha um, enjoy, have fun. I hope you like it. Once upon a time, far away in the distance, lived a young witch who had dedicated her power to lifting the curse of a land soon to be her home, soon to be many's home. But she couldn't shake the feeling that there was something else out there waiting for her, something that required her help. and she would soon set out to find it. A land different to all the others, dull, without color, simply drained of its life. And she knew, she felt it, she felt that this was her new purpose. Even if it meant having to learn new magic and adapting in ways she never considered before, she would do it. Breathe new life into this land, rejuvenate it, restore and preserve the colors. She was going to make it better. All right, Amber, no worries. I know that that wasn't a link, but thank you so much. Um, I told my parents that the dinner was awful timing, and they said, ugh, you and your internet friends. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Callie. All right. Um, also, I do want to, because I, I haven't said it just yet. Um, Pat Meliora, Valine, <laughs> thank you. I haven't said it just yet. If you know, uh, if you still remember the Equilibrio trailer, um, you might have noticed that I did try to create, kind of create an, um, a parallel to the first trailer uh, with like the start of it, you know, saying like once upon a time in a land far away in the distance. Um, but this time, 
I tried to make it a little bit more upbeat. You know, I talked a little bit faster. I didn't make it quite as epic. You know, last time it was like thunder and like once upon a time. So um, because this time it starts out with like a rescued kind of equilibrio, you know, um, and and everything's kind of good. And then mid, uh, you know, in the middle of the trailer, she kind of starts like being, oh, there's something else out there, you know. So just just in case, just in case you didn't notice the, the parallel kind of that was that was intentional. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Bobby girl, welcome on in. Hello. Late to the game. Fantastic trailer. Thank you, Lane. Thank you so much. Is it okay to say that I got major once upon a time vibes from the trailer? We talked so much about it yesterday. Probably that's why. That's okay. That's okay. All the memories with that first trailer. I know. Yeah. Um, and then I was kind of thinking about like, oh, maybe we need something like thunder again. But then this time the curse is different. It's not, I mean, there was rain in the trailer kind of, but it's not like a thunderstorm and like earthquakes and stuff. It's really just that the, the island is, is just, all the life has been sucked out of it. So, um, mm, oh wait, what did, what did Sylvia say? Oh. Are even real? Meline literally glitched through her screen. She's a projection. <laughs> I talk to Meline like all the time. They still think that I talk to Karl Heinz, who is seventy years old and will kill. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Not the Karl Heinz. Hello. Not the Karl Heinz. <laughs> thank you, Kat. Thank you. Also, Archie Marie. Thank you for the follow and welcome on in. So again, to quickly frame it, basically the idea is that it all starts out with a land that's kind of been drained of all the color and the main character is going to revive the island and the island kind of, um, after being rescued, will be the hopefully one day finished island. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a bunch of color themed areas with uh, different villagers all around it in like red, orange, yellow, um, pink, purple and blue and then we will also have a white and black area with flurry and hamfrey as the hamster kind of couple to neutralize the colors you know to make them really shine to kind of help balance the magic and stuff and then in the middle of the island we'll have a big uh colorful meadow um Basically, that's the idea, and we, we're gonna, well, at least we're gonna attempt to call it um, a color coordinated. I had to think for a second. A color coordinated fairy meadow. So uh, that is the idea, as a rough, as a rough kind of uh, framing, and um, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, more like a fairy aesthetic. So more, more um, lighter, lighter items than. That sentence did not make any sense, but I'm going to try to use lighter items instead of like the darker customizations, you know, so um, yeah. Yeah, Anika and Hannah are real because I've met them. You certainly are not, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jen also welcome on in. Can I just say how proud I am of myself that I didn't spoil it this time? Thank you, Polina. Thank you. Also, everyone else who did know it already. Um, uh, thank you for, for keeping it a secret. Also, Jackie, I hope, because um, I told Jackie uh, like a few days ago, like a week ago or something, but I didn't tell her the uh, lore for the island. Like I didn't say anything about that. Um, so I hope that this was still kind of interesting. What the heck? Artemis, thank you so much for the brand new sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the brand new sub. Thank you for deciding to subscribe. Felicity is apparently also here to uh, say thank you. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoy the emotes and the, the mom badge. Thank you. I adore that idea. Just know that it'll turn out so great with your magical talent for terraforming. Oh gosh, Pia, thank you for thinking that. I'm a little nervous about it because I want to make it like look good and I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to, but we're going to attempt this. You know, we're just going to try, we're just going to try. Will you have Maggie on your island? Is Ma Wait, which one is Maggie again? Is that the pink one? Is that the pink pig with the flowers? I thought about it. But then I had too many normals. If that is, is that Maggie? Now I'm like getting confused. But yeah. Um, oh, it's the orange pig. Oh no, orange is going to be someone else. There is... Um, Oh, no, no, no. I don't like Maggie. I don't like Maggie because she annoyed me when I flattened Cat's Island. So no, not Maggie. But um, we're going to talk about the lineup in a second when we start the mood board, um, I would say. But I can I can let you know maybe that I have 
Um, let me see. So I do have someone that I absolutely want to have for the orange section. Um, I have one for the pink section already. And... Are the others set in stone? I don't think so. But those two, I definitely want. And probably yellow too. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Of course, Jackie. Of course. Hazel. I don't know. I don't know, Bambi. Felicity is hosting this chat. Oh my gosh. Maybe you want to have Sally for the orange section. Annabelle for orange. I kind of hate her. That's the anteater, right? I know, Bambi. I don't know if we can, though. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's see. I need to get going to my PC. You're going to watch from there, but, um, you know, because of multiplayer round. Of course. No worries. No worries. Uh, Felicity would be perfect for orange. <laughs> Persephone. <laughs> Why are you trying to make that work? <laughs> All right, so I would say we're gonna take a short little break, um, and after we are gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing the mood board, and I'm I'm excited. I am. All right, thank you uh, for for being here for the um, theme reveal and for for being so excited for it as well. And um, have fun during the break, and I will I will see you just in like a few minutes.
All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you for waiting. All right, so we are gonna have to try and figure this out a little bit um, together because I I don't I've never like done um, a Canva stream or anything like that before. So let me kind of set everything up. Um, Lauren, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for for also like welcoming me back. Of course, um, I will be opening Canva and um, kind of preparing everything. Uh, now we will probably on stream only stay on the mood board because I don't, I want to be careful because like I am, uh, there's like a few things there that I'm working on that will probably have like my full, my full name and stuff. So I don't want to like dox myself or anything. So I think on stream, let me switch over to PC. There we go. Uh, on, on stream, we'll probably just going to be, um, just gonna be having this, maybe even just the the piece with the canvas, canvas, can the, the white part basically. Uh let me put on some music. Um there we go. Uh and then in another window, I will be like downloading kind of the pictures of the villagers and stuff like that, uh, so that it's not a lot of clicking for you and like not me showing anything um in particular. Let me see. I also um just quickly before I do docs anything, I want to just see if like there's any pictures. I don't think so. Um, no, that's good. All right. Mm. Cause I do think so like the, the, the sad part is kind of that the white, like the part that we're going to be editing is disappearing a little bit behind my, my camera thing, like my face cam, but I feel like you'd like to see the elements that we're using as well. So, um, I feel like maybe this is going to be kind of, uh, kind of better. And then we might zoom in if like, there's a few, uh, things that we work on in, in particular. Um, I love Canva, me too. I use it all the time. Um, Bobby Girl and also Jess, thank you for the host. Jess, welcome on in. Hello. Working from home today because out of nowhere I got sick. I hope you'll feel better very soon. Um, and also Meg, welcome on in. First time to the stream that came here from YouTube and I love this community. So happy to be here. Welcome on in. It's good to have you. Welcome, welcome. Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll we'll switch the title to kind of just doing like um yeah, like mood board for the new, I don't know what we should change it to. Let me see. We're just maybe creating a mood board for the new theme. Oh my gosh. I need to, ah, <laughs> maybe just like this. All right, let's see. So you use Canva Pro or the free version. Uh, usually I have the free version, but I did just do uh, a pro um, the pro like testing thing. Um, so right now we actually have access to the, to the pro elements, but I usually use the free version. I have to say, um, gotta be so interesting to seeing how someone who uses Canva regularly uses it. Oh, wait, do you use it as well, Lauren or no? I don't expect too many skills from me. I feel like I'm a very like basic Canva user. <laughs> I did announce the theme. I did. So, um, it, yeah, like Persephone put the command there. Um, it's going to be a color coordinated fairy meadow. Basically, we're going to have different color themed areas uh, with like villagers and stuff. And um, and um, and kind of like a fairy aesthetic. Uh, this is still considered Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would say this is still Animal Crossing because we're kind of creating uh, like a mood board for an Animal Crossing island. Um, Harmony, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Roland Banana. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I am German. I am. I mainly use Photoshop, but the person who runs our social uh, socials uses it for the odd um, ad hoc things. So I'll go into it occasionally. I see. I see. I see. I really like it. I, I absolutely love, um, Miguelza. Miguelza, did you know I'm German? Um, yeah, I do. I do love it. I use it for like my thumbnails and everything as well. So yeah. 
Bit of a fun fact for y'all, if all the ice on Earth melts, scientists estimate global sea level rise of 70 centimeters and 230 feet. Oh gosh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. All right, so the first thing I think I will do, just so we have an overview of kind of the, um, like how many things, oh my God, Frida, that looks, I don't know if Frida's like here right now, but the, the, the screen looks horrible. <laughs> What? Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Lockbeth, welcome on in. Yes, it's going to be a color coordinated fairy meadow. So the first thing I think we're gonna do is we're just gonna create like a um a little bit of like a color uh, orientation. So I'm just gonna be using like a like a brush stroke kind of, um, and we're just gonna color it in the different uh, parts. I'm gonna try. What the heck? Oh my god, thank you so much for already deciding to subscribe with your Prime, Meg. I really appreciate that. I hope you uh, like the little mum badge and the emotes. Thank you so much for deciding to support. Thank you so, so much. Um, thank you. All right. Um, also, let me kind of think about how we should... Maybe we should kind of do it in the way that the island is going to be set up. Maybe I also would like to have a brush stroke that's not quite as wide, but more like tall instead i feel like this might be a little bit better so we're gonna make it um it is german by the way yeah that's probably that's probably how you saw <laughs> um i'm gonna try and make like pretty shades of colors i'm not sure but still kind of accurate i guess we're gonna see when we like add maybe the flowers or something but yeah so we're gonna have red and then we're gonna have like an orange i kind of don't mind this orange actually um we're also gonna be having like a yellow Actually, this is fine too. Let's see. Um, I've watched so many of your YouTube videos, so I think it's time to join the community. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. I didn't even notice that the page was in German. My brain is way too used to it. Yeah, I would just notice because I was like looking at the colors and I was like, Markenfarben. <gasps> what? Oh my God, Paulina, what the heck? Why? Oh my god, thank you so much for five gifted subs. Thank you so, so much. They went to Lockleth, just keep on simming, Kirit Cake, uh, Skyne and Karen, if any of you are here and haven't just yet, please do make sure to say thank you to Pauline Hienchen in the chat. Enjoy the emotes. And Paulina, thank you so heckin' much. Thank you so much. I watched the island hunting video for this island. I was dying of laughter from all the people saying yeet to that one island. I swear. <laughs> The next one is gonna be so I do still have to edit the second stream, which is going to be us like uh, auto filling the plots, which is um, also a little bit of pain, but it's also very funny. Um, and yeah, yeah, we had to eat that island because people screamed at me. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for you know acknowledging that. <laughs> I didn't say yeet. Oh, you sure as hell did multiple times too. All right, we also need kind of. Um, a blue part I'll kind of try like when we work on it I'll show this section to you but for right now I think I'm just gonna put the the color kind of quickly behind it um kind of a purple part but I feel like that's not that's not quite the purple it is in the game right this is kind of a little bit too cold I think so we're gonna make it um I feel like it's more maybe like this like if I think about the wind flowers they're quite like they're quite like very like vibrant purple. So we're gonna put it that there. Let's see. I didn't, you highlighted my message once, which is which is, which is rude because I definitely deserve more attention, you know? I see, I see. I said, I don't care, <sighs> you know. <laughs> I like the autofill was really, yeah, it kind of was, it kind of was. Um, I hadn't done it in a while either. So I guess that was, it was fun. All right, as for pink, um, I guess what I'd like to do is probably focus on a more like pastel kind of pink, just cause basically what that means is I think we're not gonna be using, um, we're not gonna be using the, what is it? Cosmos? The tulips are still kind of bordering on on okay, like they're still kind of fine, but the, the Cosmos are really kind of upsetting. So we're gonna have these kind of like in a circle around, right? That's gonna be like a circle of landscaping. Now, 
what you can sometimes or like what I sometimes like to do um, is I kind of like to make the background um, kind of like an, an, an Animal Crossing picture of like kind of that grass color, which I don't think I have currently. We could kind of just make it something green though, maybe. Pink Cosmo Slay, because see, I don't think so. I don't think I have anything like seven. Oh, maybe like this is, okay, this is an offline picture. Um, but this is kind of like the 6 a.m. kind of sky. What if we just make it like, hmm, that is gonna drown out the colors a little bit. Okay, maybe we should do that later. Maybe we should do that later and then just kind of go for maybe like a kind of greenish color. Ouch. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. I don't know if that makes kind of sense, but I feel like maybe we should not do it because of the contrast of like the orange and stuff. <laughs> oh Lord, I know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, I hate them. Okay, I see. Oh, I did froggy, yes. I'll probably show the trailer in like a little bit again. Oh no, no, Paulina, no. <laughs> I'm blinded by, yeah, I'm sorry. Blinded by the green too, blinded by the green. Okay, so those are the colors. And then I think what we're also gonna be doing is a black, um, kind of like in the middle here, plus like a, a white, but we're not gonna make it quite like white. We're just gonna go for like a, maybe like a cream or something. Let's see, let's make that into a cream or like very, light kind of shade just for flurry you know i think this works just to show it kind of you know just to show it um i had to look for a while i heard the explanation but missed the trailer i'm very interested in how you uh do this theme it sounds so cool thank you shell thank you i will be probably uh showing it again in a second i never thought about designing my island in this way i have canva pro so i should try this for my next island yes Honestly, yes. Like you will see that the the way that I do the mood board is definitely not like a very aesthetic kind of way, but um, I just try and like, you know, nail the theme a little bit. Um, also the center part. Now I do have to say for the center part, I don't know if we need too much of, um, of a mood board section because it's basically a combination of everything around it. So I think what instead we'll do is we'll just do like a little green section maybe for like the kind of entrance part and like my house kind of. Oh, which speaking of my house, I think what we're gonna try and do again is create kind of like a parallel to Equilibrio and we're gonna make my house kind of the same uh, type of house. So I think I should have like a picture of it somewhere. Um, yeah, so this, this was my house on Equilibrio, right? So we're gonna go for the same type of house. Um, but in a in a much kind of lighter color scheme as much as we can um so it you know it's it's another kind of parallel if you will um yeah just as a quick little inspo that's not going to go on the board but just i thought i'd mention that uh let me adjust this green so it's a little bit more like the color we're going to go for i think it's going to be kind of like this you know tinted with a little bit of of yellow still pretty light kind of like that so these are gonna be the colors that we're working with. And then the middle part is going to be um, kind of a combination of all of those. So this is kind of just how I start with um, putting together this 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 mood board. Okay, let me catch up with chat. Um, I see that cover pick for your YouTube video, yeah. Yep, it's right there. <laughs> uh, let me see. Like the color of the tulips, the pink ones the tulips are yeah the tulips are still okay but i like i think i prefer the mums and the hyacinths actually um fungus head welcome to the chat hello hello karen enjoy your lurk um and geek thank you for the follow and welcome on in my cat keeps trying to get on my work desk in order to try and get on my screen mouse cursor just can't help but think that's not the right mouse you're useless <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, cute. Will your house be in the middle meadow too? My plan is, so we have like the airport, right? Um, and my house will be to the left of the airport. And then you're going to go to the right hand side. Uh, so it's like right by the entrance. And then you're going to go to the right hand side, go up a cliff, circle around the entire island and then kind of go down. So it won't be like in the middle, in the middle section. It will be more towards the, the entrance. Okay, let's talk about villagers now, I would say. Um, I feel like that's going to give it that kind of like Animal Crossing type of vibe. I do like to include them on the mood board uh, just so we have like an, an idea. Now, of course, the villagers will have to be in the, in the colors of the areas. Um, and I think the first one we're going to start with is, um, is Flurry, of course, because Flurry is always part of, of the islands. So let me... Um, let me see. I think that this should be working. I'm just going to go on. Um, this is like Animal Crossing fandom. That's like usually where I just get like the pictures and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Taking it with me as I'm cooking. <laughs> have fun. Have fun. I hope it's uh, going well. I hope it's going to taste good. Um, all right. So here we've got Flurry. There we go. Plop. <laughs> um, obviously, she does have like a white, uh, a red sweater. Sorry, but um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it for now. We're gonna make a little bit more room for the separate sections. I think I I believe we're probably not gonna need as much room for the green, so we're probably gonna bring it down a little bit and then just kind of just kind of do it a little bit randomly. Let's see. Um, and then I also have Hamfrey right here. Look at them. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute! <laughs> they're so cute. Um, that's why I needed so much space at the left area of your house. Exactly! Thank you. Yes, Kelly. See, now everything starts to make sense. <laughs> everything starts to make sense. Natalie! Oh my god, it's so good to see you. Hope you're well and things are good. I've missed it here, Natalie. You've joined uh, for a pretty good stream because we're doing the theme reveal and mood board and everything today. Welcome on in. Villager Natalie, hello. Couldn't find the specific villager. Oh, dang it. <laughs> How can I know if I did the host thing right? Oh, you can. Um... Yeah, Paulina explained it perfectly. Yes. But thank you, Angel Eyes, for hosting. Thank you. Um, let me guess. Buck for green. Oh, green is me, basically. Okay, do I have my character? I don't have my new character. Oh, wait, I do. I do, I do. Hold on. Okay, I, the editing is a little off because of the time of, like, the time of year. But the green is just going to be mine. So, like, that's not going to be a villager, actually. So, like, that's just going to be me. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what I have now? Because I have, like, the pro... What it, does this work? The background kind of deleting portion? Probably not for this, right? Eh. <laughs> Actually, that's better than before, though. So we're going to just go with it. We're going to put my character kind of by the green. Let's see. I'm lurking while working from home. Of course, Jess, no worries. Flurry finally gets a Roman story. I mean, she's always had one with Grizzly before that, right? So I guess there's that. I guess there's that. But yeah, kind of, kind of. Um, not really. <laughs> Are you just having eight villagers? No, I am having ten. So there are going to be two areas with two villagers each. It is pretty good lock with. Yeah, I usually don't have pro. I have because um, I honestly can't afford it each month. So I just have like the test version right now. But I did it on like my picture. Uh, which is this one and like it's weird but like if you do it on this one it's like very impressive I mean you know you know this room it's like not a surprise and like obviously it keeps the chair but that makes sense like this is super impressive I used to do this like manually in procreate before which is a pain so yeah um we need fuchsia no 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 Loving the colors on the board. It's good to be here. Things are heck and heck to get work right now, but hopefully getting a handle on it now. Um, I, I really hope that it, it's going to be a little bit more chill um, very soon. But, you know, as always, don't feel like this is another place you like have to show up and have to be and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, it's good to see you. Um, 
Let's see. This mood board is the most amazing idea ever. I totally need to do this for my island. Do it. It's also just fun. It's like so much fun to create it. And like uh, we're going to get to the more Animal Crossing specific things in a second. And it's really, really nice to to just do it. I think I have. Let me find that in a, in a separate tab so I don't accidentally dock anything. But I did make one for Equilibrio. So I can kind of maybe quickly show you how that one looked. But it's been a while. So I have to scroll, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. I found it. Found it, found it. Okay, let me see. So this is the one I made for Equilibrio, actually. Um, I ended up putting like a background picture for it because um, so it doesn't look as like weird and contrasting. But basically, um, I already, as you can see, kind of split the, the, the part, like the, the canvas into the different parts that we ended up having. Now, obviously, it ended up being like a different order. So like sometimes stuff doesn't work out. So you see I here I had Nate and Mary and it ended up being like Nate and Fred. And then I had, um, oh, actually, these all ended up here. Uh, I put the houses on it too, you know, and then I kind of just put like a couple of items, you know, like I wanted different colors and like a few different items that I thought of putting there. Never ended up putting the star fragment thingies on there, but you know, um, I are already put like water here to kind of indicate that there is going to be some water escaping. Uh, then I had um, the fall section, which I wanted like a brick path code, which I, I do have now, uh, an orchard, farm stuff, colors. Uh, the winter section, I mean, this was weighed in the end, but still pretty accurate. And then I hear I just put like a curved wobbly land bridge because that's what I wanted to do. And the middle section at that point was still supposed to be kind of black and white, but it ended up being more of like a, a witchy kind of part. And then I actually made like a separate part too with um, different colors. Here you can see I actually updated the... Um, like this is actually how it ended up being on the map. So like spring in the bottom right, summer in the bottom left, and then fall and winter. And I just made this with like the different flowers so that I knew I had like this overview of like what type of flowers I was going to use for each of the sections. Um, oh, and then this is just a graphic that I made for like a video. But yeah, so this was this was the one for, for Equilibrio. And then for, I think for Neverland, for the plant core island, I never made a, I never made one on Canva. I just made one basically in game with like the storage kind of, you know, which also kind of works. I'm not going to lie. That kind of does work too, but I do, I do find that like, uh, this helps quite a bit. So back to this, which is a lot more white right now, <laughs> but we're going to get there. Let's see. Um, the constellation flurry is giving, um, benevolent grandma vibes. Oh, <laughs> telling her husband when it's time to trim his eyebrows. Oh, that's so cute. Oh gosh. Yeah, the contrast between me and my back me, the background wasn't high. Exactly, exactly. Um curved wobbly land bridge, right? Yes. Um, okay, so let me tell you the different um colors that I want to do. So um, or like the different villagers that I want to have for the different uh sections. And you can definitely like you can definitely chip in if you if you think of like a villager you think would be good for that section. Um definitely feel free to let me know there's a couple of them that i'm pretty set on which i will let you know about in a second um but yeah so let me see let me just get these pictures all right so what i just usually do is i just google like acnh um like ACNH Flurry, ACNH Hamfree, and I pretty much open like the first link that I have and then just right click and save the picture. Since, you know, I'm just using this for like personal uh, inspiration. I, um, I, th I think that's okay. <gasps> no, I'm offline. Excuse me, excuse me. How about this one? Oh, that works. Wait, does it not like Filbert? <gasps> Does it not like Filbert? Is that a sep is that a different like uh, data thing? How how tall how how tall how big is that? Huh. Interesting. All right. Anyway, I do want to have Ursula for the pink section. She is pretty much um, a set one for me. I had her on a DLC build, and I I love her. She's so cute. <laughs> um. Felicity orange. Okay, I do have an idea for orange. 
Um, and Felicity is not orange. <laughs> I've actually said this before, I think on a hunt, but I've always loved, I've, I've always wanted to have Sally. Someone guessed it before too. I've always wanted to have Sally and she is going to be the orange villager kind of. Let's see. Pietro for all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, let's see. Filbert and Shark for blue. I think blue is going to be one villager maybe. So I think we're going to go for Filbert actually because I kind of fell in love with him now. Before that I had Bam written down and, um, and maybe like Hornsby was also on my list. But yeah. Doc. Oh, he's cute too. But he does have orange legs to be to be fair. Ioni for the blue. Oh, I, I knew that people were going to say that. <laughs> Gale for pink. Oh, is that the alligator? I still do want to try and have villagers that I, I genuinely enjoy having on the island, you know? Phoebe for red. Mm, mm. <laughs> Ketchup for red. Yeah, Bam is cute, right? Yeah. Apple is more pink. Apple is more pink, I would say. I just got her nice. So for red, I, I've kind of been really wanting to have fauna on an island lately. Um, and I know that technically fauna isn't really red, but she's kind of like brown with a tint of red. Uh, now that I have her, I actually have her on the island now. I'm not sure on it anymore, but um, for now, like an idea was fauna, maybe? So that's why you took her. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hornsby, I'm back just in time to advocate for my fave. The sweetest boy. He is cute. He's cute. Um, Joey for yellow. Diaper boy. <laughs> Bruce for blue. I thought about that too. Yeah. Um, more orange for Fauna, to be honest. Yeah. she. I mean, she's definitely like brown, but you know, orange. I, I think Sally is like a pretty good, pretty good kind of match, you know. So the ones I'm set on are Flurry, uh, Flurry and Hamfrey because like they're supposed to be like the polar opposites of each other, but also very similar because they're like the couple, you know. Um, I do 100% want to have Ursula. I do 100% want to have uh, Sally and also Filbert, who is not, who is not like working for some reason. Let me see if I can find like a different picture, maybe. Hmm, because that should work. This is a PNG. Maybe that works. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, worse quality, but it still kind of works. So there's Filbert for blue. Let's see. Let's see. Her dress is sort of red. Yeah, and she does have kind of like, if you compare her to, let's say, Maple, maybe like Fauna, um, she does have like a red tint, but I feel like she might not be staying. Um, oh, also, yeah, I, I wanted to kind of try and maybe have villagers that I've not had before this. Um, I think some people are going to scream when I show you who I had in mind for the, for the yellow as well. Um, but I wanted to try and have villagers that I've never had before and also villagers that I still like genuinely kind of enjoy. So yeah, tabby for orange and for fear. <laughs> um... Anka for yellow. Oh my god. A peanut for purple. Peanut is bordering between purple and pink. And so I'm actually not sure on if I want to like use her for that. Mm. Let's see. Poppy for red as backup. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, sh I'm not sure on the camera because like wherever I kind of put it, it's going to be a little bit Annoying. I mean, I could put it like, I could put it like right when it's where it says like that tie and stuff. Yeah, I can do that. Let me see. Face cam. Because if you, if you can't see like the top element of this, I feel like that's a little bit better, right? What, what do we do with the chat though? What do, what do we do with all of you? Because that's not going to work. I mean, you're, you're see-through though, right? Maybe like this? Next to me? Ooh, next to me? Oh, you can't read that though. Hmm. You're making me dizzy with moving us around so much. 
Um, can you keep it where it was and just squish the Canva bin window a little bit? Oh my god, what did I just move? Wait. Squish the Canva window a little bit? I mean, what I can do is... When does it let me move it? It's... Huh. I don't know. The chat is okay because we're transparent. I could keep you there maybe. It's a little bit all over the place, but I feel like maybe there? Maybe that? I don't know. Rosie? Oh, not that. <laughs> you better not use hippo, Andrew. No, I said villagers. I enjoy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... Rainbow Core, I missed everything after the trailer. Um, basically a color coordinated fairy meadow. Made it less wide, like you know, when you manually resize the window. I mean what? Let's do that way. My jokes are not hitting today. I'm not feeling too hot. Oh my god, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, are we are we okay with this? I think so. I think so. Um all right, so let's let's see, let's see. Who else did I have on the list? <laughs> Caroline could work for red. Is oh god, is Caroline the squirrel? I absolutely hate her. <laughs> No, she hurts my eyes. I'm sorry. Um, I can't explain today. It's fine like this. Okay. Because I can't like resize this window. If you meant like the, the white window, I don't think I can like resize that manually. If that's what you meant. Mm, ketchup for red. Um, I thought that because it's like a very obvious choice. But to be honest with you, I don't want to have ketchup. Um... I do like her, but I don't want to have her again. Um, Cause I don't know. I feel like she wouldn't really make me happy this time around, you know? Um, I just want to see how cute Megan looks on the board. No, Megan has a lopsided mouth. She's not getting on this board. Yeah, so for purple, here's kind of my my tra my train of thought. Um, I was I was first thinking, Sylvia, hold on. <laughs> I was first thinking about Sydney, right? But then after I put like together the lineup of everyone, um, I noticed that pretty much everyone was either normal or jock, except for um, except for I think Flurry and Ur except for sorry Humphrey and Ursula. Um, so I had to choose. I like I had to change it, and then I ended up having someone on my DLC island. Uh, who I didn't rate very high, but I kind of fell in love with her, I think. So I think we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do that and we're gonna have the following person for purple. I know I didn't rate her very high, but she's actually really cute. She has like, okay, she has like these like stripes around her little tail part and she's like really badass. So like, I think it's gonna be Mallory. <laughs> so, um, you playing the DLC changed you, I know, right? Yeah. So I think it's gonna be Mallory. Um, the other option that I thought about was actually Kid, who I had in my campsite before sometime and I also didn't really like them. Um, but yeah, I approve of this decision. I love that these are not the usual suspects. Yeah, I love Cleo too. Cleo is kind of cute, but also her eyes are kind of, whenever people have, whenever villagers have these like glimmering kind of eyes, it's a little oof. <laughs> <clears throat> Would it make sense to have a squirrel in a tree farm area? I mean, yeah, probably, probably. Uh, Panda Crossing K, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um... Your island name fits her name, Meliora Mallory, yeah. You said no to a cute bear over an uggo duck, how could you? Have you seen Megan's mouth? It upsets me. <laughs> I never thought you would ever take her. I mean, same, you know? Oh, my birthday twin, nice. Not my personal first choice, but she is kind of cute, yeah. Our Lobo, kind of our, um, I think I also thought about, thought about him. 
Olive? What about Olive? Oh, <laughs> uh, leave out the um, apostrophe, I think. Try and leave that one out. I guess. <laughs> Did I saw Poppy? Uh, did I say Poppy for red? Maybe you did. You did. But no worries. I also am missing like a whole bunch in the chat because it's going very, very fast. So I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, sometimes the eyes are not it. Kiri, welcome back. I got to get back from grocery shopping. It warms my heart that you chose Ursula. She's my favorite underrated villager. She was my starter on my very first island. She was one of the first ones I knew I wanted to have because she's heckin' adorable. Um, what's your 10th color? We're not having a 10th color. Isn't that upsetting? I think it's kind of upsetting. The it, The thing is basically that this here is like the entrance part. And then the middle part is all of these colors combined, right? Yeah. Who is the second pair? The second pair? What? Hurts my eyes to look at. Megan bothers me too. Kind of creepy. I think so. Yeah. So... Cranky, cute baby. Oh, also, you know what we're going to do quickly so that we have kind of an overview of this? Um, we are going to just quickly write their personalities here uh, so that we kind of see which ones we have. I'm not going to make this one the font. I think we're going to go for maybe this one. What about if we write it in caps? Oh, it's not, not, very, not very easy to read. Maybe it's just this or Chattelwood, my usual. Okay, just just so we kind of see. So Flurry is a normal. Um, Hamfrey is a cranky. Cause like I don't mind it in like the final lineup if we don't have like a certain uh, personality, but I would like to try and have as many different ones as possible just so we we get like the reactions right. Like that. Oh wait, Afana is also normal, I believe. Filbert is a lazy. Um, Ursula is an Uchi. I think you do write it a little bit differently, but we're just gonna quickly go with this. <laughs> and then Mallory must be a snooty, I think so. Okay, let me see. Um, are some colors gonna have two villagers? Yes, yes. Two villagers for a color. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what that's that's what Sylvia probably meant. Yes. Um, oh, God, Paulina, whatever. Um, yeah. So two two for for one. Uh, oh, sorry. There's two colors that'll have two villagers. Um, Eloise, Tybalt, or Graham for yellow. Ooh, I don't think I like any of these. <laughs> Yellow suggestion is Benjamin, Pippi, Sheldon, Maggie, or Mayel. Um, Maggie, no, because I don't like her now. I don't like her. Um, actually, it's Sheldon. My idea was Sheldon, um, who, if you just look at Sheldon himself, kind of looks a little bit orange as well. But if you look at him next to Sally, he does definitely look uh, yellow. And he's been, he has a beautiful house that we can't really keep for the, <laughs> that we can't really keep for the, for the yellow, but um, he has a beautiful house and I've kind of always wanted to have him. So I think it's actually going to be, uh, it might be Sheldon. Um, Marty, I do have on Aporia. So yeah. And Joey, I've had on Neverland for a very long time. Uh, Xenia, thank you for the follow and welcome on in. Graham, because of the glasses, you know, that's the glasses hamster, right? You know, I don't really love like permanent accessories. Mary for yellow? Wait, you mean the, the cat? Oh, Marty. Oh, sorry. That was the typo. Sorry, sorry. And also Lottie, welcome on in. Yes, there is um, pink and purple. Uh, Lopez could also be a good yellow. Oh, isn't he more like a brown? Like a light brown, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess that kind of would work. Um, uh, yeah, he's not enough yellow, I feel like. 
What was the one that it called? I didn't see which one it called. Willow? I don't like Willow either because she kind of hurts my eyes. <laughs> Victoria for yellow. Victoria is kind of cute, but again, like, I don't know, the permanent accessories, you know? Mm, Goldie? Goldie is... Goldie would be okay, yeah, but I don't... I don't know if she's one that I would want to have. Um, okay, so also let me let me kind of see, let me kind of tell you the ideas that I had. So for purple, I started out kind of thinking about um maybe Sydney or Rod, but both of them are like normal and jock, so I kind of gave up on that. Um, and we are now gonna be going for Mallory because I feel like she's very um she's she's actually very cute. I kind of really fell in love with her. Um, Molly, but she's also normal. She is also normal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Also speaking of Sheldon is a jock, which actually we don't, we don't have on, on the, uh, on the page just yet. So, cause before I had Filbert, um, this was going to be Bam, like the, the blue part was going to be Bam, who's also a jock. And then it just ended up being a ton of jocks and normal. So, um, yeah, that's not great. So let me see what we're missing. We have normal, uh, snooty, uchi. We need a, um, what's the fourth one? Peppy. We need a peppy. Exactly. Um, we need a peppy still. And then for the male ones, let me see. Mm. Peppy. Sisterly is the Uchi one. Yeah. Okay. And then for male, we still, we have lazy, we have cranky, we have jock. So that means we, we would still need a smug. But like I said, it could be that we, in the final lineup, we don't really have like all of the, all of the villager types. No worries, Amber. Uh, Gaston has a bit of charm for yellow too. His house would need work though. I mean, yeah, so I've played, uh, did I say that? I've played through the DLC completely now, like on this island. I have all the reactions. I have the sketch app and everything so we can completely change the villager houses. We are going to be completely redoing them on the inside as well. So, um, so, so that's not going to be an issue. Hmm. Let me see. Nate is very yellow with no permanent accessories other than a gorgeous smile and a sweet personality. We did have Nate on Equilibrio though. And on Offline too. Uh, Pippi, because she's super cute. Tabby is peppy and orange. Yeah, no, but I'm set on the orange one. I'm set on the orange one for sure. Rosie's peppy would fit for either blue or purple. Yeah, that's the, that's the conversation. Peanut is an adorable peppy or does it need to be another yellow? So yeah, which of the colors are we going to double? I was thinking because one of the major inspirations for me is kind of the red um, mushroom parasol. And there's generally a lot of amazing red kind of mushroom items. So I think I have enough inspiration for red to have different, like two uh, different villagers and be like a little bit of a bigger area you know um so i think we're gonna go with red having two and then i was thinking either pink or blue because i feel like there are a lot of both of those colors in the game you know okay i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring purple in a little bit this now has no really like close tie to how it's going to be sorted on the island i just want to have a little bit of space for for all the different colors um, and plus these are going to move out of the way too, but you know, oh my God, I have a hair stuck. There we go. Um, Marshall's kind of yellow. Marshall is more white. More Marshall is like flurry. Um, can I ask if you're concerned about multiple, oh wait, multiple village, uh, villager species at all? Species? Not really. It's more the personalities I think that I would like to focus on. Uh, also, would you want Elmer or is he too brown? I could see him for orange. Um, Elmer could maybe work as orange, yeah. Pink and you take Peanut, decision done. But Peanut is kind of like, she's not pink. She's not like clearly pink enough for me, you know? Mm. 
stew for blue. Um, I have stew on my Winter Island, so I would like probably go for someone else. I fell in love with Nate. He's adorable. He is adorable. Yeah. Blue Bear is kind of. Mm, <laughs> Um, yes, so Stingerbell, I was thinking about Cherry. So for, for Red, I also uh, thought about Bill for a long time, like the Red Duck, um, who is also a jock though. And um, he's kind of a very dark red. Uh, and then I was actually thinking of for thinking about uh, Sh Sherry, Cherry. I never know what the difference is, but the one with an I, with an, with an R, one R and an I. I, I would call her red. I will just quickly get her picture and kind of show you. Ultimately, of course, you know, the decision is going to be mine. But thank you, everyone, for putting in, like, all the all the um, the villagers and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking Bill, but it's I think it's the personality for me that kind of throws it off a little bit. So it's like the, the shades of red are a little bit complicated. So it definitely is, like, very different, you know? <laughs> Barbara for beauty? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Kayla, welcome on in. What about Joey for yellow? No, because I've had Joey on Neverland for a long time. Peanut is not clearly pink enough for you. Yeah, because she has like a like a purple tint. She has like a very much purple tint. I believe you don't like Sherp, but Sherp and Filbert are my two blue boys. I did also have... Uh, Eunice is kind of too dark blue I would say she's she's kind of more like a grayish grayish blue no worries Pia welcome though she is right Meg yeah Beardo for blue smug absolutely not <laughs> what about cookie for pink her eyes scare me meringue mm. Rio Ooh, I don't think I want to have Rio if I'm honest Vlad is pink absolutely not <laughs> Absolutely not. Wolfgang is also a little bit too dark in my opinion. I was thinking Bam, so he was actually the initial blue villager that I wanted, but then I had Filbert as a starter and I, or as one of the first few villagers, and I I really want to keep Filbert, I think. Um, so if we go for another blue one, it might be Bam. Or pink. Pink could also work. And in that case, I was thinking about going for freckles because I, I thought about having freckles for Equilibrio and I never ended up like having her there. So, yeah. Wait, let me ch quickly check something. All right, anyway, that's not my thing to worry about. Anyway, um, let me see. Um, Pate for blue, mm, she, I don't know. Her eyebrows, you know? Mon chéri, like chéri. Oh god, that is that is too that is too posh for me though. <laughs> Freckles or bam would be so cute. Would roll be too dark for blue? Um No roll would I think work. Roll is on my winter island though. Yeah. Faith might be comparable color to Fauna. Um Faith was also on Equilibrio, so not not her. The fate, yeah, it was just that Jimmy just did a little update and he, he, for the build wars and he made a typo in the, in the, in the date, but it's, I mean, it's not really, it's okay. <laughs> um, mm, let me see. So yeah, we're missing a smug. Um, we're missing a smug. So Cherry is peppy, but I do have to say I'm not sold on the, on the red bit. Um, blue bear I don't want to have. I think blue bear is kind of boring. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get Bam's picture and I'll get Freckle's picture and we'll put them on the screen, like both of them. And it probably just depends on like if we kind of maybe start the building process and we notice which one we have like more inspo for, I think. Um, and then for the red part, we might have to still look for, for new ones. 
like I said, I was kind of, I kind of just wanted to have Fauna on an island because I do think she kind of fits the um, fairy aesthetic. Oh, that's another thing. I would somewhat like to have the villagers fit kind of the fairy aesthetic. Either that they're like cute or kind of like tiny or somewhat like that, you know? Pippi for a yellow peppy. I don't think I want to have two yellow uh, villagers. Although uh, smug villagers who fit the color theme look kind of scary. Yeah, Julian. I don't like Julian either. Yeah. I don't like Julian. I think what we might actually do is uh, befriend the one that we currently have and then just not have a smug. I don't mind not having a smug on an island. And then Poppy for red, I think some people recommended her too. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but she has a very triangular mouth and I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't I don't love it. <laughs> um I have Mallory on my one island. She's really cute snooty, yes. Pecan is also red, yeah, it's true. She is snooty. Pecan is kind of a... Wait, is she red? Oh yeah, well, she's kind of like a... She's kind of like Fauna. She looks some type of brown with like a red tint. Yeah, I don't know. Melina's a mouth hater. It's The mouth is important, okay? <laughs> Krim is welcome on in. We are making a mood board for the new island. She matches the mushrooms perfectly. I guess that's true, but... Yeah, yeah. Bill was uh, Bill was the one that I initially planned for red, but he's also a jock, and I don't know if I want to have like, especially if we use if we end up having Bam, I don't want to have three different jocks on my island, you know. That's just the thing. We're gonna just put the jock thing there, and then Freckles is also peppy, but these are kind of I'm gonna make them a little bit paler because um, they're not a guarantee. Oh. What is this, by the way? Steel Copian. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Bill's hobby is... Yeah, Bill is playful. That's true. Ooh, Pecan is your birthday twin. Nice. Me running to Poppy on my island to check it out. <laughs> yeah, one is plenty. I know, I know, right? And Nicole, welcome on in. Hello. Um. Yeah. That's pretty much the lineup that I that I have so far. So I think we're going to make some changes to the red later on, but this is just going to be like a rough a rough uh kind of outline for it. Usually when like as the island is coming along, we usually do change it quite a bit. So um yeah, I think we're not going to be we're not going to be obsessing over it too much cuz it it's probably going to change. All right. Is there a story behind Ursula? Did I miss that? Uh, just, I think she's super cute. <laughs> I think she's like super cute. What things are we covering with the mood board? Um, just like a couple of like main items that we might be using. Um, so just a couple of like inspirations, color things, stuff like that. Um, I want to see the size of this. Okay, this is definitely not great. Can I have... Gonna get this somewhere a little bit bigger, maybe. Flurry's the sweet grandma and Humphrey's the grumpy grandpa of the island. Yeah. Yeah. My toxic trait is I think lazies and normals are all the cutest. Yeah, kind of same. Kind of same. Oh, maybe this is a bit better. Also not great. Okay, these are not the best um kind of colors, uh kind of sizes, sorry, but Oh my god, what happened to this picture? Yeah, this might be okay. All right, so let's see. Mm, nook exchange? Let me see what I did. Oh, I had like nook, nooki, nookea. I don't know how it's pronounced. How about Agnes for black? Uh, no, because Flurry and Hamfrey are a couple. Um, I've got to go now. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. I'm excited for everything that's going to come with this island. You're not going to disappoint that it isn't possible. Thank you, Miguel. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, let me see. Thank you, Persephone. Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. Oh, that might also be very small, though. I have like 700 mush parasols now. Yeah, that was kind of the same. But I, I, that's an easier way for me to research them, so I'm going to use that one. Mm. Oh, no worries, Kira, no worries. Fleury is set in stone, yeah. Uh, did we think of doing a green villager alongside your character? No, because I want to have green just as like the general color on uh, all over the island. And also I do have a completely green island, so I don't, I don't want to do that, I think. Um, okay, so some of the items for like the fairy part, right, um, will be like some of the mushroom things. Um, especially like the white kind of versions of the mushroom items, like the parasol or the partition too, just because I feel like they're very, um, I don't know, romantic looking. Um, I also really like the plain, what is it called? Plain party lights arch. There we go. In the light wood customization as well. So everything we're going to use, we're pretty much going to try and have like, um, the lighter kind of versions of it, you know? And we're gonna use some of these all over the island, but kind of, yeah. Oh, thank you, Borikum, thank you. Gonna throw some veggies in for pasta bake, sounds good. Um, yeah, like I said, I do, usually when we like go hunting or stuff like that, it, it kind of changes here and there because we find a villager we kind of love, um, but yeah. I kind of want to see if maybe we can get like a picture of the houses. Um, I don't know if we can though, because like obviously we're going to change some of the houses, but maybe we can just find like inspiration. So uh, I don't know if any of these would fit, by the way. I don't know if any of these characters have like houses that we can kind of keep. Mm but we can kind of see so i do i do think that flurry's house is probably going to stay pretty much like that just with a different door color so i'm going to just quickly grab her house maybe um just as like a rough inspo like that and then i think that zell has um a house because i would want to have um hamfrey's house to be kind of the same just completely opposite you know what i mean <laughs> So it's kind of um, also that round cone kind of shape, but then it's like black. So maybe we're gonna do kind of Zell's house for Hamfrey. We can completely customize them, so there's that. Um, I think her door will also just be kind of white, but that's okay. And his door was, will be black kind of. Plus, I don't know if there's maybe even like another, um, another uh, roof color that's also a little darker, so. Okay, kind of like that. Um, I think we can also remove the the names because they were just kind of for figuring out the villagers. So there we go. All right. Um, have you posted your mood board for Naporia on your Instagram? Uh, no, no, I, I don't think so. I've never seen you do one before. Yeah. Usually I do them kind of like just in my free time. The kid of our neighbor is one floor below us is having a meltdown. He's screaming his head off and I think I heard him throw something at the door. Oh my God. That's not fun. Kid has a super cute yellow house. Okay, let me see. Um, Cause I know, I know that like, um, oh, he, also the like round one though. One thing I was, okay, Hamfrey is kind of the except for, exception for this one because he just needs the same type of house as Flurry, I think. But apart from that, I would maybe like to try and keep the houses, that house um, shape that the villagers have, you know? Now me signing up for Canva Pro to plan my new island. Oh my God. You can definitely do this with the free one too. I've made, I've made a lot of stuff just with a free Canva as well. But I mean, go ahead and go ahead and support. <laughs> Which he has the very like, oh, I don't know if there was a white customization. Can I, can I kind of like just look for house, house customizations, Animal Crossing? I guess that's more like my own house, right? 
villagers? Probably not. Villager houses? Nookopedia. Yeah, no. Hmm. Someone should make that. <laughs> you can just see kind of like the... Uh, there's like a list of your own house customizations, but only like pre... Pre uh, 2.0. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be great, Aisling? <laughs> That would be great. <laughs> I transferred my data from my old first gen switch to my Animal Crossing switch and lost my town. Oh, this is giving me so much inspiration. I'm glad. I'm glad it is. Um, that's definitely what it's like supposed to do as well. Mm. Yeah, so I don't really know how to put like the houses here if like they're not, if the starter, like their original houses aren't like the greatest. Is there a purple house by the way? Is there even like a purple kind of customization for a house? Oh, didn't Renee have one kind of? Renee had, I think, something like purple-ish. Oh. Oh, thank you, Eli. I still got the link, um, but we generally just have them kind of be deleted. Oh, yeah, we could go through that, like the alphabet. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good page. Thank you. There is. Violet has a purple house. Yeah, doors and roof for sure, for sure. The resource channel, you made the thing. Yeah, that's just the villager houses though. You know, you can you can kind of make them yourself too. The metal shed kind of looking house. There's purple with white. Oh, I think, okay, we probably will go for like the purple with white then because the, the, sh the kind of metal shed isn't going great. Okay, so I have that... Um, I think Paulina put the, the the list, the link, sorry, the link in. I have that one and I'm just going to maybe go through. And if I find kind of like a house that I think for a specific color would maybe more or less kind of look good, I will try and put it like on the, on the screen. So there are like a bunch of blue options, I know. So, oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Becky has a purple house. Becky does have a purple house with like a um, red roof, which is this one. The roof would 100% be different, but like this is kind of like the house that we would probably go for, right? So that's that for sure. Um, oh, I don't like the log cabin. Oh gosh. There's a purple siding option. Yes. Yes, that one. I already did, Froggy. I already speed ran the DLC, actually. Um, it was tough, but I did it. <laughs> I, I did. So we can actually go ahead and right away, like, speed, uh, like, um, redo the villager houses if we want to. Okay, this one is a very pretty red house, which is actually Boyd the Gorilla. But this one is actually a very, very pretty red customization. Look at this. I love the siding and then, like, with the roof as well. I think that would be cute. Boris has a blue house. Most of the blue villagers have blue houses actually. So, so I think we're definitely going to be finding a few different options for that. Let's see. Sounds good, Renee, no worries. Um, also, Broccolo has kind of the same type of house as the red one that I just put there in blue, which is also an option. Uh, Filbert's own house is also... Um, Blue, I would probably do a, like a different, a different roof if I'm being honest. And then we're just going to switch, oh, just going to switch this backwards. There we go. Mm. Right? That's really pretty. Yeah. Okay. We definitely need something kind of orange. Mm. Butch has an orange house. So does Tangy. Oh, there's also one with those like wooden parts. Which I kind of, because it's going to be like a foresty fairy meadow, right? Like the, the usual type of aesthetic. So I think instead of like the city houses, we really might be going more for like this type of style. So there is apparently also an orange version for this, which also compared to her looks kind of like a weird orange, but it's, it is orange. It is. It kind of doesn't look like it though. Because the other option is... um. 
Rudy's orange house is cute. Let me see. I love Butch's house. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Let me see. Rudy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the same siding. It's like the same siding, but with like different roof and door. I mean, the roof and door, we probably will just adjust like for them specifically. Eloise. Yeah, that would be that would be for yellow, right? That would be like an option for yellow, I believe. Let me see if I can see. I, I'm I should have her soon. Um, can I just say I find it irritating that it says look bad instead of hinder? Oh, actually, so okay, the way that it works, um, there is um. Wait, I wonder why it doesn't do that now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if there's multiple elements, uh, rückwärts, so backwards, just puts it like one further down, like one layer at a time. And then you can also just click click like it to the background and it just goes completely to the lowest. So that's kind of like the reason why it does that. That's kind of like the reason behind that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, wait, okay, what was I gonna read? Rasher and Clay. Okay, let me check them. Caesar's house matches Sally's eyes. Uh, Caesar. God, he's so creepy. Oh, yeah, that one is also orange. So, like, orange also has, like, a city option, kind of. Mm. Rasher. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of... Wait, doesn't also uh, Ketchup have one of those roundhouses in red? I think we're going to put hers on the mood board as well because it's a very clearly red kind of build. Yeah, Ketchup, yes. Yes, Ursula is on the list, yeah. Um, Thank you, Meg, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Clay, okay, I was going to check Clay too. Clay is interesting fella that feels a bit more like brown sand kind of color to me i think i would say okay which ones are we missing we're missing like a red version which is going to be ketchup we're missing a yellow version still um and pink but there is definitely pink options i know i know that for sure uh let's go for Oh, Cube has a, a yellow one too. I think this is probably, yellow might actually be one of the city houses that we go for. So like kind of this, right? With like different a different roof and a different like door. We can actually check like in game, depending on how long uh, we're gonna be here. We might check today, we might check later. Um, you know, if there is like others. I had to start everything over because I left my progress. I was weak into it. It's really hard to not give up after starting over. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people, like I said earlier, a lot of people are actually starting over right now. So uh, it, I feel like right now is actually a good time to to do it and like just get swept up in the process of, uh, process of others as well, you know? Um, don't get discouraged because there's like a lot of stuff to, to experience and to discover. My neighbors just started hammering. Oh my God, what is up with our neighbors, Jackie? What the heck? What the heck? Kids house for yellow. Mm, let me get there. I'm at like E right now. Eloise has kind of the same style. Oh, a 12 has kind of a, oh. Callie, thank you so much for gifting two subs. Thank you so much for gifting two subs to the community, to um, Otero and uh, Dinah. If any of you are here, please make sure to say thank you. And thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Norma's for pink. Oh yeah, Norma has a pretty good house, I think. So this is the one that I just found, which could be an option for pink, you know? I mean, we can, like I said, we can completely customize them still, like how is like roof and door and stuff. So this is really just kind of more like an idea more than like a set in stone kind of thing. Oh yeah, see, we've got Filbert's house here. I do also want to put that on. Flora has the same one. 
freckles. Oh yeah, also has the yellow kind of siding. So this is Philbert's actual like house, which I think we might actually keep. We'll see if there's like another version that we want to have. Um, okay, well, we're gonna put this one here. Just kind of layer them and like put Philbert in front. Um, mm -mm -mm. Rocket's house. <laughs> Normos or puddles? Oh, puddles is, is scary. Let me see. Fuchsia also has like the weird metal kind of thing. Um, there's also the yellow kind of log cabin, but I don't think I want that. <laughs> I do not think I want that. Harry, no. Yeah, yellow could be the round one. There's definitely like a good yellow option for the round kind of looking house. Igly and Bam also has, I think Bam and Igly both have this type of house siding, but in blue, also very pretty. Yeah, rundown Japanese wooden house has a beautiful pink version. Oh. Tammy's for yellow, wait. <laughs> thank you for the 300 bits what the heck thank you so much um oh tammy's could actually work i mean it's not super yellow but maybe with the elements that we add on to it that could also work we 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 i guess we'll just see kind of which looks uh better in like the surrounding stuff yeah yeah mia welcome back and pubsies thank you for the follow and welcome on in Cheer to scare Moline. Don't. <laughs> Do not. Do not. Let me see. Yeah, I'm still trying to find those pink houses. I'll get there. I'll get there. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. They're, all the door and like roof options are great. What were the pink houses again? Because most of the pink kind of stuff that I see is really more... I mean, I know that Fuchsia has one, but Fuchsia's house is not great. Oh, Norma. Wait, Norma has the same sighting as this. Okay, Norma has the same sighting as that one. Also, I do want to put Ketchup's house on here because that's like another version for, for red. Wait. 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 Thank you for the 25 bits, Pia. Thank you. <laughs> um, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh my god, Andrew, no worries. <laughs> Nerdy, welcome on in. Hello. Uh, Fuchsia's house is blinding, exactly. And we do not we do not want blinding, right? It's kind of not something we would want. Is there not like another like pink? Oh, no, wait, there is. There is one of these. Okay, okay, I see. Peanut's house is kind of nice. Yeah, I told you so. Whatever. <laughs> oh, there's like a Japanese one in pink too. Yeah, I see, I see. Puck has the same kind of siding. That one's actually a pretty one. Like, not the, not the roof, naturally, but, you know. Okay, so we're going to move freckles to kind of... I don't know, to the side and then kind of put this like behind. All right, there we go. Mm, Danielle, hello. Um, yeah, I know, Fuchsia, blinded by the light. Lucy's house, let me see. I never thought of doing island setups like this in my head. I'm already planning for my next island theme. See, see, that's why I'm like always trying to think of or like always thinking of the next one already. So, yeah. Oh my God, Renee has. God, that's, that's, a, that's a purple house. 
Oh my God. Also for this type of siding, you know, like the purple one that we have, I already can see that there's also a pink roof option. So we're going to go all in, you know, red and red everything and orange everything and pink everything. <laughs> um, wait, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Lucy. Is that the pig? Yeah, that's the pig. Oh, she actually also has just a white house with like a pink door just like that. But it's kind of interesting how you can kind of bring across the like pink idea, even just with the door and like roof and stuff. I do also think the tree branch house, remember the tree branch house that like Shep and Deirdre have, also has a slight pink tint to it, I think. There's another kind of one of those Japanese inspired houses that could also be an option, but I feel like we have like a good selection right now. We have a good selection going on. And one of the log cabins also kind of looks pink-ish. Oh, stop scrolling. Let me see. Well, uh, while I take a quiz, no worries, Addy. Mm. I'm glad you enjoyed, Amy. Aria, welcome on in, hello. Cookie has a great house for uh, two for pink, pink door, roof, and white, but pink bricks in it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'll check it out. Oh, no worries. No worries, ghosty. Uh, I was lurking too long. I missed most of it. No worries. Enough Spider-Man. Time to look at... Wait, pink houses? Yep. Yep. Mostly white, but with a pink door. Oh, yeah. I know which one you mean. It is, it is pretty. And I was going to look at Cookie's house, I think. Oh yeah, also it's kind of, that's kind of cute too. Okay, I'll, I'll kind of save that one too because I feel like that's cute. I might prefer that to, well, maybe it's not pink enough just for bringing across the theme, you know? But this is also very cute with the pink bricks and stuff. I'll make that as like a very small option, right? Very small option. <laughs> All right, so. um, Is there a, is, does anybody know of like a page where you can find the new 2.0 house customizations. Um, 2.0 house customization. List of house customization options. That's not just... That's not all the separate parts, though. That's just, like, the types. Okay. Every new Animal Crossing house exterior. Okay, wait. Maybe I got it. Mm-hmm. I accept the cookies. Oh my god, that's a lie. They just put, like, the first picture of it in. See, that's the issue. Sometimes you can't find what you're looking for, kind of. Huh. Sometimes later on, I'll go like and just take like a screenshot in the game and stuff and just put that in. But obviously that would kind of, I would, I think that would take a little bit too much time now on stream. So I, I won't do that, but yeah. Not that. <laughs> not, that, not crashing. What the heck? Okay, <laughs> help. <laughs> wow, that's so scary. I think everything's back. Oh wait, let me put on. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> wow, okay. What crashed? Uh, my browser, everything. All of the browser, everything. <laughs> everything, but not the stream. So that's good, right? The stream is still there. <laughs> okay, did any weird page open? No. No, everything's good, it seems. Behave internet. I think it was, that was just the browser. So yeah. Color coordination makes my heart happy, right? Yeah. Same thing. Also, something is... Why does it say Malene? Can I reload this, please? And it will stop saying that? Hmm. 
Why does it say that? Hmm. It just says an M now. Because apparently it thinks I'm still working on it somewhere in another browser, which I'm not. <laughs> Interesting. Behave technology. Oh, no, I deleted. I deleted the little text um, saying like uh, what personality they were. Um, so no, it looks like it's okay. It looks like it's decent. It looks like it's decent. My brain just being slow. No, don't worry. I mean, there's a lot like happening, right? So don't, don't you worry about that. Okay. We're going to have to attempt to kind of space these out a little bit better. And now I would say we add a couple of, uh, in-game items and like flowers. I think I kind of want to start with flowers. So, um, I don't know if Nokopedia has flowers too, maybe. Um, you can group elements if it helps. I know, I know, but then uh, I still want to move them individually. So if I group them now, I have to like ungroup them then. So I don't, I usually don't really do that too much because I get annoyed because I then want to move them individually and stuff. <laughs> but thank you. Um, Nook Exchange has flowers too. Okay, wait. Mm. Oh, typos. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So we are going to go through, how do we do this? I'm maybe per color. Um, if you notice me and missing any colors uh, or any flowers per color, please do yell. We're going to start with the black ones. So I think the only ones I really like are Cosmos, um, Tulips, and um, or maybe actually we'll go to the through the types of flowers. Okay. Cosmos. So black. We've got orange. I definitely want to use orange ones. I'm not going to use the pink ones because they actually don't, I don't like them. <laughs> um, let me see. Red, white. Hold on. Um, we've got yellow too. And that's them. Okay, let me see. Um, Effie's Paradise, thank you for the follow and welcome on in. Let me see. Okay, we've got orange. We've got orange. So that one goes here. It doesn't really matter if, you know, you make them like big enough or super small. It's really just kind of to, to help. Looks, looks like she's holding it almost to help like kind of, you know, give us like an idea. Um, and yellow. Okay. So that's Cosmos, right? So, um, I'm thinking, let's do mums next. I'm thinking for like the main section, like by the entrance, I think I don't want to use too many colors just yet um, because the the reveal kind of in like the meadow in the middle is supposed to be like really kind of important. So I think in the entrance part, we're just going to be using a few more um, like natural um, <laughs> what we had. <laughs> we're just going to be using a few more like natural kind of looking ones. So I'm leaning towards, of course, green mums because green, but also maybe like white, some yellow could work too. I think those are kind of good colors to keep it very, very neutral and kind of light and airy. Um, so green mums go in the center part. Green mums also might be introduced into other bits and pieces because like that's the color that's, oh, that looks wrong. That's the color that's supposed to kind of be everywhere, but you know. And then of course we have pink. Now we're getting to, to the point where like this pink isn't really correct anymore. So I guess it's more like this and maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, that's more accurate, I think. Okay. Uh, we also have our first purple flower right here. Right there. Of course the red one as well. Um, most of this is going to be like, we're going to be using a lot of flowers again, 
because I genuinely do love just decorating with flowers. Some fencing, I think. Um, okay, definitely in the white part, but also I think we might be putting a white Cosmo, uh, sorry, a white mum in the entrance section too, because it's kind of like a natural looking mum color, you know? Right here. Green mums tied together with the queen witch. Will you also use the glowing moss? I will. Good point. Good point. We have to remind, remind, remember to also get that one. Do they also happen to have that one? I mean, they have like that picture from it, like when you drop it, which I guess works. Plus, like maybe we should have, well, weeds are kind of a given though, right? I don't think this time, so for Equilibrio, I did specify the, um, I did specify kind of the separate trees and tree standees. For this one, I think we really don't have to because like the, the trees are going to be the same in every area. Um, it's not going to, we're not really going to be, um, we're not really going to be using tree standees, I think. But yeah, so glowing moss. And I also think glowing moss will probably be in all parts kind of. So there's going to be like a little bit of a, of a green element in like all of the different parts. All right, let's go for tulips next. So... We've got purple, black, um, orange, pink, red, white, and yellow. We're not going to be using any roses again on this island because me. <laughs> um, and also, I'm not sure on pansies, to be honest, because... I find a lot of them, a lot of the pansies can really be identified for a specific area. So they always have like a different, like two different colors in them, which might make it a little bit too hard to incorporate them. I don't know. I've never visited Equilibrio yet. I know that island so well. That's so interesting. Can I just go maybe and do it like this? Let's do it like this. Okay. Pink. See, this is definitely more vibrant, but I feel like it'll still be okay. I, I think the tulip is still okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Pansies are, yeah, it depends. So I would say that um, I don't love the um, white ones and the yellow ones, I think. I do kind of like the red ones, like the dark red, because it's almost kind of fitting more with the black parts, um, with the black flowers. And the ones I love are the blue and the orange version because they're, I don't know, they seem so special to me. They're actually one of my favorite flowers. You know, my flower takes are too spicy for chat, yeah. <laughs> I was 100% stinky, oh, so stinky. Okay, what else? Tulips, Cosmos. Uh, mums hyacinths they're kind of uh, and you know pansies oh here we have blue finally what other blue flowers are there oh wind flowers oh also there's there's definitely um purple wind flowers so i'm just quickly getting those pictures so i can you know bring them in Pink wind flowers, I think also work. White also work. Although the white have a little bit of a blue tint to them. Yeah. I took a shower, I promise I'm clean. Sure. <laughs> no, I believe you. Okay, hyacinths. Bam. And then we're gonna do wind flowers too. I'm gonna let that upload. It's gonna take a second for all of the pictures to load in. Um, oh, 23, that's not great. 42, I'm pretty sure that went down. I think I was like 50 something earlier. Um, oh, perfect. Yay, all right. Have we loaded? Oh, not the not the purple one. The purple one is still kind of uh, loading, but we can kind of start. I never noticed that apparently the inside of this is purple. Oh, I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so blue. Then we've got pink, of course. 
The inside of this is also very aggressive already, but you know. <gasps> oh no! Okay, the purple one must have gone wrong somehow. I don't know what happened there. Not at, like having performance issues today on stream with the upload fails. That usually doesn't happen. <laughs> that usually does not happen. But we'll figure it out. We'll see if we can re re-upload it and if not we just have to probably kind of imagine the um purple one to be there i don't know <laughs> okay let me see where is my purple hyacinth let's see if you work this time yeah okay we got it we got it okay this is also orange i <laughs> the windflower is like disappearing we'll put it there and put this one here instead because it's a little bit um yeah, a little bit lighter. Oh yes, you do, Kiri. There is a redemption in the nook uh, at the nook stop for being able to customize your fences. But also, in order to be able to see it, I think you have to um, have to have crafted fences at least once, like customizable fences. So um, if you've never really crafted them before, or if you've only crafted ones that can't be customized anyway, then you won't be able to see the redemption. Um, yeah, there's definitely something like that. Something like that. Okay. What other flower are we missing? Oh, lilies. Well, for at least, and pansies. Let's do the pansies first. Yeah, so yellow and white, I'm not gonna use. I might be using the red, although they're super dark. I might actually pass up on them. <sighs> kind of wanna use the orange pansies, but I can't. I can't because it's red and yellow, and so I don't really know in what, what area I would use them in. But we are gonna use the blue and the purple ones. The blue and the purple. Technically, we could probably use the um, the white pansies for purple too. But I feel like we'll try and kind of limit ourselves because there are like enough types of purple flowers if I look at it like this. There's like a lot of purple flowers actually. Um, there's not enough blue in my opinion. I'm still like craving for like craving some blue cosmos or something <laughs> But yeah, um We'll go for lilies because there are like a few A few of the colors I'll kind of accept. I think it should there should maybe be like pink ones black for sure because there's not enough like black flowers and um Maybe we'll go for like the orange and yellow as well because I feel like, you know, lilies and roses. Yeah, lilies are okay. Roses, I don't want to have on my island. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't like the roses. Yeah, the blue roses. I don't know. I don't like them. I know they could technically work, but um, there's something about them that I, I just, I just don't want to have them. Oh, wait, here's our black flower right there. And then here is the pink did i put the orange one in already no i think i think no i think no okay i also don't really like the roses in game i don't really love them irl either but you know <laughs> um okay also i think the tulips will be part of like the uh, entrance as well all right so um now Let's see, what else would I like to have on my mood board? I think we're definitely gonna have... Hmm. Maybe just some of the items. Some of the items I've been thinking about. Like some of the main kind of items, you know? Um, so let's see. Uh, feel free to help me here as well because I feel like for some of them I don't quite know which ones are the best but for like the main section um, and like the entrance section I was thinking of more of the light kind of um, mushroom items and then I was also thinking I really want to have the kind of log furniture stuff like log stakes log stool and the very like light customization I think that would be kind of pretty um, let me find the, I think mush partition is kind of a good one to have as well. And like the white one as well. White mushroom. 
save that okay so that one for the main section right so kind of like this and then the white mushroom Ooh. maybe a little bigger mostly kind of like this i think Mmm, those big shining balloons could look so cool in fairy. Oh, yeah, are, do you probably mean like the glowing moss balloon, right? I picked up a few of those. Yes, that's a good idea. The glowing moss balloon. Yes. So I saw them and I thought that the best one, the best looking ones are kind of like the blue, red and pink and probably yellow could work too. Plus, I mean, in the main section, we could also go for like the green. Let's download a few of these and just put them in for like inspo. There's more like mushroom items that I want too, but you know. For red, I do have to say there's like a lot of items though. There's like definitely a lot of items for the red section. Um, I definitely want to have the hyacinth lamp for the purple because there's admittedly not too many like purple items, I feel like. There's a lot of, mu not mushrooms, sorry. There's a lot of shell items in purple. So um, we are probably just going to be able to have like hyacinth lamps. Of, let me think. I, I think the mush log comes in purple too. And yeah, let me see. Are you using Canva in a special Animal Crossing section? So basically, I'm just using Canva and then every element that you see here, except for like the color swatches, are just little pictures that I've kind of gotten just from like Nook.exchange or um, Animal Crossing.fandom, I think it was, for the villagers and stuff. So just I just Google kind of the items and then kind of save some pictures of them just for like inspo. And then that kind of works. Works really well. Mm. main area and white area are going to be uh kind of the same um i don't think so actually i think that for flurry's area we would be using some different kind of focal items like you know main items uh and not really the mushroom parasol um, plus for me, it's, it's going to be like a lot more green. I like, I, th I do think like, it's going to be like a difference in the end, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's basically just that I don't want to have the entrance section, like where I live to be fully, um, fully with colors just yet. Cause I want that reveal from like the middle section to be good. Oh. And like special, you know? Okay, and yellow color will go here. That looks, oh wait, I was gonna say that looks green. That is the green, cause I dragged the wrong thing. <laughs> like wait, that looks so much more yellow. <laughs> kind of like this, okay. Um, right, wouldn't that be great if Canva just had like an Animal Crossing um, part? Yeah, the purple hydrangeas. Oh, like the actual like, plant uh i can't though because it's gonna be in september what about the gazebo oh yeah although the white one is kind of shiny oh you you definitely can you can you definitely can sunflower but thank you yeah so i can't use the actual hydrangeas but the because i definitely got wait, which ones did i get earlier I got, I think I got one of the gazebos or actually the per pergola pergola for the purple one. Let me find that one real quick. Like, ah, yeah, this one, this one I got. Cause I feel like this one, hold on. <laughs> this one and you don't see it yet. This one here in combination with like, um, hyacinth lamp and purple flowers and stuff. I feel like this already probably does a lot for this area, right? Like just the, the kind of colors, the purple windflower fan could be good. And I think the, let me see the shell stool, hold on. So maybe we'll kind of incorporate the beach section for this one too, although not 100% certain on that one. Mm. Windflower fan, there we go. 
Yes. Okay. And then also, of course, like there is a bunch of items in the game that can just be customized with like fabrics. So I do think we're going to be uh, getting some some fabric codes or also just using some of the sable kind of provided uh, codes and just kind of go with those. I don't really know how to make it maybe like this. I wish we had more items or actual wisteria plants, right? Yeah, but I feel like this one is going to be a given in the purple because it's 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 a very, uh, very pretty item and like very like impressive too, right? Um, hi, pregnant. It is. Yes. So this is going to be the mood board for the new island theme, which is going to be a color coordinated fairy meadow. Um, and we are doing a little mood board right now. So basically we're just putting together, uh, kind of separate, like different villagers that we'd like to have, uh, with houses that might kind of work. Um, even if not like perfect in their customization just yet, but, um, kind of, kind of, uh, just some, some inspo items and stuff. So yeah. Idea to help cover the purple, a lavender field. Yeah, something like that, something like that. I also, um, I have been thinking kind of like Anika had this this area on her island on the completely flat island with like all of those purple um, hyacinth lamps and stuff. And um, I think some of the ruin things too. Uh, and it, it's, it was super pretty. So I think this is actually gonna work out. And like, yeah, a lot of the fabric stuff can, can come in in purple too. So I think, I think it's gonna be okay. All right, let's think about, um, also, can I put the flower maybe here on, on this? Just kind of like, why is this so tilted? Oh, we can kind of put it here. Um, right. Like we could just put the, uh, ruin items in combination. Like there's, there still can be some neutral stuff. There still can be some neutral stuff and, um, I don't know if it's really, it's not really uh, like purple or anything. But we could go with the white one maybe that has like a very artificial looking kind of line on it. It depends. I mean, we're just gonna see. I'm not gonna put it on the mood board because it's not the most purple one, but yeah. The festive volley items in the different colors. Yeah, that could work too. Like the, especially like the garland or we could do some confetti every once in a while, yeah. Did we officially decide on Bam and Freckles? It's more of an either or, or like one of them, because they're both like more transparent right now. Because it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can only have one of them, yeah. Mm. No worries, Jackie. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Uh, how do you feel about fake grapes? Should be custom designs on an umbrella. Oh yeah, also a possibility umbrella or like little hats or something we could also do that for sure yeah okay pink so one of the pink items that i immediately because i we do want to have um oh also can we not use like one of the butterflies and one of the butterflies purple too oh maybe not i'm not sure oh it's more like a pink yeah probably it's more like a pink um, but we do want to, we do want to still kind of have it in a fairy core aesthetic, right? So, um, the blue one as well, I don't just want to have like a, I don't know, kid core kind of blue. Cause I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, oh wait, yeah, the great purple. Okay. Why is that not in the, mm, there it is. See? I was thinking about the right thing. Okay, never mind. Oop. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it existed, but still I like questioned. I still questioned. Oh, there's also like purple roses. They don't seem like super purple to me, if I'm honest. Anyway. Um. If I type in butterfly, it doesn't even find all of them. That's kind of rude, rude. But yeah, so we still want to keep it all in like kind of a fairy, um, whimsical kind of magic aesthetic, you know? So I don't want to just do like a blue kid core section just because there's a lot of blue kind of kid core items. But yeah. My character in Stardew fainted like 10 times in a row because she just kept standing there. Wait, how do you mean kept standing there? 
Oh, it definitely didn't zone out and stared at the screen since I typed something in here the last time. Oh, you didn't go on like break? Oh no. Um, I don't really like the items, but the cherry blossom DIYs are pretty pink. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on it though, Kelly. I don't really love them. Um, I was thinking about the Mario mushroom, right? Like the big mush mushroom platform. Large, wait, no, the large one doesn't exist in pink. Never mind. Oh, actually, speaking of though, I think the blue one I want to download for the blue section, obviously. So that one goes here. But the small one, the small one definitely does. The small mushroom platform exists in pink and also in yellow, which I think we will also use for the for the yellow part. Um, plus there is like, I don't know, yellow butterflies and everything, right? And like that in combination is probably gonna be like super pretty. Mm, some of them don't have butterfly in the in-game description for some reason. I found this one searching the catalog. It's so annoying. That is really annoying. The heck? That is really annoying. Yeah, butterfly models for sure. Butterfly models, absolutely. They're 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 definitely gonna be part of it. Right? So kind of like this. Okay. Do the Mario mushrooms come in every color? Unfortunately not. The big one comes in like red, green, and um blue. It's right there. Red, green, and blue. And then the small one comes in like a different shade of green to the big one, uh, yellow and and um, pink. But I, I feel like wherever they do work, we're going to use them. Yeah. The blossom pile. I think that's a good one. We should probably use that one. I'll just, okay, I'll type in like cherry blossom. This is really good. So if you want to make a, a, if you want to make one of these mood boards yourself, nook.exchange is very good because you can just type in like the, item name or just go like cherry blossom maybe and then it kind of gives you all the different um the different types of items and you can kind of pick and choose which ones you like you know let's see i just did the stream on my screen must have looked creepy <laughs> can we do star fragments oh yeah yeah i know i planned like star fragments last time and we actually never ended up using them so we'll see how that goes but yes yes we can all right um, we'll put, we'll put the, we'll put the petal pile in the pink one too. Oh my God. Look how, oh, you can kind of see it. Okay. Never mind. I was like, that's not going to be noticeable, but it is, it is. Are uh, the Casablanca lilies have a few different colors. Ooh, well, it, it's okay though. Cause we can give them like little setups, you know, in front of their house, like a little picnic maybe. Plus also, I mean, um, we are going to be, because I feel like for this island, um, I was having a lot of fun with interiors last time, like different types of colored and in interiors, but the, the only pain was kind of having to acquire all the items for it. So this time we're just going to do like the villager interiors and, um, all of the different ones that you see here. So all the colored ones, and we're still going to be able to use them inside. So I feel like it should still be part of like the mood board. <clears throat> Thank you, Polina. And the moon seat, I think the moon seat, not so much. Cause I feel like, I don't know. There's something throwing me off about the, the, the moon seat, I think. Oh yeah, there's a purple too. Hello. That's nice. And a pink, a white, a pink. Um, and a yellow. I think we're going to use all of those. Uh, cool baby cat. Thank you for the follow and welcome on in. All right. So purple. Oh, wait, let me actually just get all of them in. Beep. Okay. <laughs> um, also, okay. So the difference between the entrance and the middle part, let's think about that. So I would like to have, cause I've also seen a few people kind of do this type of aesthetic now. Um, with like the more fairy meadow kind of approach, um, I would like to use the mushroom parasols, like the white ones that I've put here in both of those, like middle entrance and middle section. Um, oh, I meant the difference to flurry section. Sorry. Um, I'd like to use them there. So I feel like they could still be part of flurry section, but we have to kind of find a different focal point. But I think we can, like, there's enough white items in the game that we can kind of do it. Was this supposed to be orange? See, this is kind of, 
Is this supposed to be orange? Because I feel like it almost looks like yellow. This is somewhere in between, I guess. Also, this is definitely a different type of purple, but honestly, it can still blend in and be okay. Wait. What about the ruin items? I was talking earlier about how there is like a black version. Oh, okay. What about, what about if, if Flurry and Hamfrey have like an area with the ruin items? You know, like ruin pillars, broken pillars, seats, and like the different, and the, Why was I briefly offline? <laughs> um, but stream is fine, I think. Stream is fine, I think. I feel like maybe that's a good idea. Let me just kind of get uh, maybe the seat and the broken pillar, because I feel like they're like a good, they're a decent size for this. We could go for either ivory for flurry or actually the white with the more like unnatural looking green, which I feel like might be a fun one. I haven't used that one before. I love seeing the process of creating the mood board. Yay! A white castle gate instead of gazebo for the green area. Ooh, a castle gate. Wait, which one do you mean for that one? Star fragments, star clock, and novelite could all really fit and the star fragments have so many colors. Yeah, I feel like maybe instead of like the, the clocks and the nova lights, as actual items, we might just be going in and like using the star fragments and like dropping them everywhere. Cause like, I feel like they definitely could scream fairy core. Oh, sorry, Meg, sorry. Um, it, it, it kind of blocked out the link. When did you last save? It auto saves. So it, it's saved. Yeah, it's saved. That's the good thing about Canva. I really should, I should get paid for this. <laughs> um, no, that's the good thing about Canva. It constantly auto saves. Like even if it crashes, you usually don't really miss any, um, miss any, anything. Mm. Also free to welcome back. Bonk Chrome, I know. Oh yeah, I'll do that, Meg. I'll do that. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Also, um, this is an app that I mentioned in kind of like the tips and tricks video that I did on YouTube, but I really recommend the acnh.guide app for this too, which is great if you are not like aware of a lot of items that even exist in the game. What you can do is uh, just kind of browse through that entire section of like what they have. Um, I feel like you can see a little bit too much of the color swap because you can't see that for the others. So I'm just going to move the house and then we're going to put the items kind of more next to it but yeah you can just kind of browse through like the furniture sections there and see which ones you like and then kind of put them on the mood board you know um and like I genuinely think this is an, a big part of like my island process usually uh and if it doesn't happen on canva I mean a lot of this stuff today I had kind of already thought about a little bit like villagers I want and stuff so yeah Oh yeah, I think I like this because also for Hamfrey, I know there's like a certain red touch, but it just kind of, that just kind of happens with the flowers. So I think this is good. Mm. I struggle with Canva so much as you've seen on my <laughs> map drawings. No worries. Uh, the mush log has a, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I forgot that. Thank you. The mush log has a purple one. Very true. I've been meaning to put that in. Thank you. Plus, like the white one could be put in like the entrance part. <laughs> yeah, glowing moss, I think we'll use everywhere, kind of. Okay, so this one, let's make that a little bit smaller. I think you can still kind of tell what it is. And the red part is gonna go, of course, here. Also a little smaller. Purple. Yes. Yeah. Was I stupid or is there no option to draw on the pick uh, to your editing? Yeah, there's no there's no option. So the only thing you can do is kind of uh, get like certain elements. Yep. If I need to like draw anything, 
because like there's a notes type of stuff, but it's just written notes. If I need to draw anything, I'll like do it in Procreate usually. There's a blue mush lamb. Yes, there is. There is. Um. Oh, spooky carriage. Oh yeah, like generally the pumpkins. I thought for like the orange area, we we could do like a pumpkin kind of farm, you know, like a little fairy kind of farm. Um, maybe we'll just include a couple of star fragments as well. Um, because I feel like both, honestly, both the yellow and, um, oh, also, well, let me finish that thought. Both the yellow and the orange pumpkin combined could just kind of both be like orange in my opinion. Um, and then what I wanted to say is generally, I think we're probably going to be using pumpkins as filler stuff again, you know, kind of like flowers too, like the, the, um, green and the white probably i think those are like good filler stuff filler things yeah and then maybe this is more like a yellow i guess we'll see in the moment we'll put it more towards yellow the mush parasols and stuff usually also comes in yellow although i do have to say some of the some of the yellow kind of mush things look very weird and like um wet does that make sense they look like wet like super shiny which i don't like <laughs> so yeah oh yeah let's also go for the lamp because there's a couple of different mush lamp options i think we should also use what kind of slimy yeah yeah with the wedding pipe organ Ooh, i don't like the wedding pipe organ i think i think not that one there's another purple mush item um yeah what is it is it the chair? No, wait, which is the purple? The strange one. I saw an umbrella coat the other day that had fairy houses. Cute. I will say up front though, I usually am not good with incorporating like umbrella coats. Um, I just always find that in my island, the way that I decorate, it doesn't look good. Like I can't make it like be part of everything, if that makes sense put the Paris oh my god this looks so much bigger and it's actually so much smaller in reality um my mind is running wild I know right that's kind of what the mood board does to you is you really get like your inspiration going and it it's hard to like stop as well you know um so it's like you every once in a while you m might have to remind yourself that this is just a mood board it's not your island yet stuff may change and you don't have to do this like perfectly it doesn't have to be the perfect final version um you saw in like my equilibrium mood board that you know what i put there partially didn't end up like actually existing on the island mm. It's just a log that has purple. Yeah, it's the strange mushroom uh, like variation, which for some of the stuff is also green. Like the mush partition, the strange one is just a green one. So it doesn't exist for everything. Okay, we'll put that over here. Also the Mario one exists in red. Also the glowing moss stuff exists in the different things too. How about the duckies? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to do weirdly colored ducks though, but for like the, the yellow one, we should. The toy duck. Toy duck. Could do a little trailing road of ducks, you know? Cause there there is a blue and there is a purple and a pink version. But like on the, oh wait, actually, wait, maybe, okay, hold on. We do have Mallory in the purple section. Should we give her a bunch of like little toy duck offspring? Should we do that? I kind of want to do that. <laughs> Look, aww. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Uh, some of the turkey day stuff comes in orange. Oh yeah, orange and some light green, which also may work for like the entrance section and like my house maybe. I would love that little joke, right? You meant to say deco ducks, I'm sure. No, because we need purple ones for Mallory's offspring. 
That's cute. Come on. We don't have a blue duck, so we're not going to do the same joke in the blue area. Plus, like, you know, and then the yellow are just kind of normal. But, I mean, we could we could put, like, white ones in, like, the flurry section or, or, like, the entrance and main part. But those aren't really kind of... They're more like a filler item that we can think about later on, you know? Um, that we could kind of think about later on. What about the moon? The moon would be kind of epic, but then probably somewhere on like a... More like maybe in the middle section, but that's actually not a bad idea. There is a blue, blue toy duck? There is, there is. It's just we don't have a blue, uh, a blue duck where it would kind of be like funny to have that be like their offspring, you know? <laughs> Oh, but yeah, if we put like the, the moon kind of like behind my house, maybe. Oh, yeah, the orange log furniture or like for, for orange or maybe probably more for orange. Yeah. The moon would fit, fit well well there, too. Oh, you you know what? We could also put it like in the middle of these two. Oh, that's true. Froggy, thank you for the host. We could put the moon in the middle of like Flurry and Hamfrey to kind of symbolize that they're more like, you know, that they're very like important to the island and like the neutralizing forces. Maybe. Do you remember that very popular water path design code with the water running over stone edges that would fit perfectly into Fairy Meadow? Have you ignored the part that it takes up a huge amount of design slots? Oh no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I was cursy. I was, but it's okay. I was pretty much going through like the entire island, picking up everything. So I just filled up my pockets with other stuff because I I got to the mush parasols. I was like, I mean, I saw you tur I saw you type like search mush parasols, and then it said like island. What was it? Nineteen. I was like, oh, she's coming my way. <laughs> um, and then I kind of already suspected it, and I got to the mush parasol. So I was like, okay. <laughs> I just flew back another time though. No worries. Any zodiac items? Um, well, hmm, the only one I really kind of like is is um I think the the floof, the sheep, the wobbly sheep kind of. So maybe just in the main section, but also not really as like a main inspo piece, I think. Also, I just want to move that a little lower. The orange and blue windmills. Ooh, yeah, I was thinking about windmills kind of like also just in the main part, you know, like the white one, maybe. Orange is pretty too. Could use the orange one as well. Mm hmm. I'll kind of put that in. Also, there is another like per pergola pergola with like orange. I was thinking about, or the yellow one too could work. Although that one is very white again. But one with, with orange flowers too, technically could also work. We'll, we'll kind of leave it out, no. Mm. Okay. God, the quality of these is great. <laughs> oh, we'll kind of cover up some of the like background removal kind of issues. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to finish making food and have my dinner. So just in case I missed the end, thank you for stream. So, 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 so much excitement today. Melira is going to be so good. Such an amazing theme and the story. Uh, lore is perfect. Thank you for Stephanie. I enjoy the cozy vibes with this mood board. Thank you for sharing this part of your process with us. Of course, of course, of course. Um, and enjoy your food. No worries, please. No worries. Um... Let me see. Why are Bam and Freckles slightly transparent? Yes, exactly. So um, without these two, we have nine villagers already. To be honest, though, the red ones aren't really absolutely set in stone just yet. But I just kind of wanted to show that um, we have to kind of decide between Bam and Freckles. So either or, you know. Yeah. There's a rusty one, maybe that would fit with the ruin items. There is, there is. But there isn't like a there isn't like a black one. And if I use it for the ruin items, I would want one for flurry and for well, there is a black one. Actually, never mind what I said. There is a white and black version too. Hmm. Damn. 
technically also an option. I'll keep them just in these two, but we'll keep them in, in the back of our minds. Mm. Oh yeah, soon it'll be on YouTube. I can show it again, uh, like, before we end though. I can, I can definitely do that. Um, also, Crossing Girl, did I say hello to you? I'm not sure, but welcome on in. Um, I probably won't be going for too much longer, to be honest. Um, but maybe for like another 15 minutes or so. I'd say take Bam because he's much cuter than Frickles. He does zoomies. Okay, well, the zoomies are definitely kind of a... Oh, that's definitely like something cute. Yeah. I love the zoomies. Okay, let's see. Which area are we still missing a few items for? I think the red one... Um... The Mario mushroom I definitely wanted to, wanted to put in as well. Because there are different mushrooms. We might check, you know, and not everything is going to be part of it. But wait, where is my folder? There we go. Switching Flurry and Humphrey's house exterior. Switching in, term of, in terms of what? Uh, Wild Moon Bear, enjoy your lurk. I always like the rusty option, just somehow withered. Yeah, the milk can thingy. They're super pretty. They're super pretty. I hunted for Grizzly and got him. Now I have Teddy and Grizzly. Cute, cute. Oh yeah, let's go and get the star fragment, maybe. Oh, we just have to put in fragment, right? To find all the different colors. Yes, okay, so there should be different color options like for each of the section the fact that you're doing a rainbow color scheme but not turn it kid core has me so excited but yeah i'm i feel like it might be a little bit hard here and there right because there there is a lot of like the toy stuff that kind of comes and i i think i did pick up a like a just a few of them too um i'm gonna i'm gonna i mean i'm gonna try my best i don't know oh she in the black house him in the white I have not thought about that. I have not thought about I don't know if like the outside decorations would kind of get lost then, you know? I don't know if that would maybe get lost. Okay, let's see, star fragments. So we need a red one, got it. We need a an orange one. Okay, got it. Uh, there is not a clip just yet, Arctic, but welcome on in. Um, so I will be editing this into a video, uh, like the the theme explanation and then also the mood board as a separate one. Um, so you can see it there hopefully very soon, but I will also show the trailer again uh, after, like before we end. Basically, it's going to be a color coordinated fairy meadow. So kind of like fairy core and there's going to be like color themed areas with different villagers kind of. Yeah, that's like the the very brief explanation. <laughs> okay, pink, purple, and blue. And then we don't really have, there's no like black version. There's there's kind of like a gray version though. But maybe maybe we'll just not have any there. Maybe. Uh, I'm using Canva. I'm using Canva. It's a uh, online website and I really, I recommend it. I'm not getting paid for this, but I do. <laughs> um, Chloe, hello. I'm very late, but this mood board looks very pretty. Love the villagers. Villagers, so cute. No worries, Chloe. Welcome on in. And thank you for the 15 month resub at tier two. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Also, thank you for the self care. It'll be a contrast moment. It kind of would be cool. I'll have to think on it a little bit more. But thank you for the idea, Sylvia. A lake to cover for the blue? Yeah, could be. I mean, I think we have to be a little bit careful with like, we don't have that much space with all the different uh, villager sections, you know, and like the landscaping and making room for everything is not gonna, there's not gonna be too much space, but we can definitely, um, we can definitely see. If we can get away with with like a little bit of waterscaping, yeah. It can have some kid core elements. It doesn't mean it has to be kid core island. Yeah, that's true. Uh, thank you for being excited. That makes me happy. All right, and then there's also like green versions of the star fragment, which we could just put everywhere, I guess. 
or like the white ones too, you know, like the regular kind of like bigger ones. I'll uh, say bye-bye now. No worries. I'm a sleepy head. We'll get ready for bed now. Tomorrow I have one last lecture and meet up with friends before driving home. Finally being able to annoy that ever-loving <laughs> out of my boyfriend again. Hope you have a wonderful wobbly rest of your Wednesday. Very excited for your theme. Thank you, Frida, for hanging out. And I hope you have um, a good night's sleep and a lot of fun tomorrow. Yeah. Weed feels and mum cushions. Yes, I did pick up a bunch of those. True mom cushions in white and red and yellow and then the wheat fields i picked up just the light version for like everywhere that we want <laughs> i think it's coming along quite nicely at some point we will definitely have kind of like uh we'll definitely have to have some type of background as well um i'm just not really sure on we need a a good kind of color scheme and if I look at like the Animal Crossing pictures I have, most of them are not, the... wow, that was glitching. Most of them are not the right kind of shade of green. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, I don't like the rose beds, Angie. I don't, I do not. And I don't like the illuminated items either. Yeah, Chrissy, I try I noticed and then I tried to scroll quickly because you haven't obviously posted it yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, it's there, it's there. Uh not saying that I'm not excited for the decorating. I'm also looking forward to how you're going to terraform this island. I know. Also, I think good point. I think the terraforming for this island, we might actually do the terraforming first. And like, you know, separating the different sections from each other so that we make sure we have like enough space for everything that we want to make. Um because like we need to make the circle around the island um, and have like the, the different separated sections with like maybe waterscaping for the houses. Um, so we might actually be doing that kind of first. Oh, thank you, Chrissy. Most important decision, decoy ducks or rubber, du rubber duckies. I mean, if I can, I'm going to use both, but I kind of prefer the, t the toy. Ooh. I kind of prefer the toy ducks by now. I think they're just very cute. I don't know. Uh, close to finishing my first island. Looking forward to starting new. I'm thinking I want all black gray villagers and perhaps a black gray island, but I would miss the colors of the game. Ooh, that sounds good though. You could put in little pockets of colors here and there maybe. Oh, speaking of, so I think it was Sylvia who came up with it because uh, in like guessing a theme, you said... Um, like a dystopian kind of like destroyed island with like a couple of areas regrown. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of think that I will be doing something like that in the future um, because I then looked at my, oh, um, Gemma, thank you so much for gifting us up to Mina. Mina, enjoy the emos, make sure to say thank you. And Gemma, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, because I looked at the trailer that I, like, where I recorded in the after snow kind of section or, like, time, and then I had the 6 a.m. kind of sky and the, uh, some of the colors, and I kind of thought that it looked really nice, surprisingly nice, so I, I feel, maybe, maybe, it's, the editing on it is, like, making it very purple, but kind of, you know, and then most of it is going to be, like, a trash core island, just there are some like pockets of, of color. I thought that was kind of a good idea. <laughs> this feeling like pride colors in a good way, of course. Yeah. Mm. Just got out of class. We can chat now. Oh, um, no worries, Kira. Welcome on in. Uh, first glance, Sally's area is my favorite right now. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, which kind of color scheme is your favorite? Let me know. Wizard of Oz theme with a black and white area. Oh, yeah. Happy to share my genius and seeing how you transform my ideas and make them. No, 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 Sylvia, no. I'll sleep on the floor today. My water bottle spilled in my bed. Oh, no, not that. Oh, no. I was vibed to Malene's flattening. Oh, that means flattening, right? I love flattening videos. This is such a calming, relaxing thing for me. Wait, flattening after the island has been built or like before I get started? 
I always vibe to Madeline's flattening videos on YouTube. There will be another one soon because I flattened Chrissy, not Chrissy's. I read Chrissy's name. I was like, what? Uh, I flattened Cat's, um, Cat's Island. You will do Puke Grass Island maybe in the future. So this one will be early, early fall. So like still green grass. But... Maybe. I kind of, I don't know, I saw it with like the nice sky color, you know? Would you be interested in something to eat? I don't know why I asked, because I'm sure you are. So, and then what? <laughs> First of all, yes, very much so. Oh gosh, I don't know. Do we have anything like left, anything left over thing that needs to go? Well, let me think on that for a second. For me, probably the green area. I mean, relatable. <laughs> Yellow is my favorite. Red and orange. Uh, ravioli, no worries. It has been though, yes. Green and white theme, yep, yep. Let me see. Oh, Arctic, welcome to the Discord. One of the mods will probably, uh, probably DM you in a second and send the link. Like all the color schemes, but I'm vibing with uh, that one, the green vibe, white, yeah, yeah. Most excited for purple. Interesting. Interesting. Still here being a lurky turkey and loving the mood board so far. No worries, Jeff. I enjoy. And Hannah, welcome on in. Hello. September 1st is absolutely stunning. The grass color is stunning and the weeds are also nice. After that, it only goes downhill. <laughs> I checked it out briefly and I thought that like right at the start of September, the trees are still kind of dark, like dark, very dark green. So it might be more like towards the 7th or like 8th. Um, but yeah, the, the weeds are kind of like the main, first of all, I don't want to create another like June Island. <laughs> and second of all, I thought the weeds are kind of the more whimsical kind of version in comparison to the spring weeds. So, um, yeah, yeah. Red and orange and the purple is real nice too. Interesting. I'm excited for like the duck thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that made me very excited earlier. <laughs> I live for a car couple with a strong eyebrow game. Yeah, right? I feel like we have to shift the color things around a little bit more because of um, making clear that like Flurry and Hanfrey are going to be next to each other. But yeah. Thank you, Ravioli. Doesn't help to put new bedding on. My mattress is soaked. Oh, no. I'll let you think. I'm thinking too. I'm taking a shower in between so that I'm ready when you are. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Paulina. Love the dark green. Nice. Uh, let me see. For me, it's blue and purple because that's the colors which are totally out of my comfort zone. Oh, interesting. I think so. Blue is not out of my comfort zone anymore. Although I guess the whimsical part of it will be because I've made like on my on my winter island, I've got like white and blue pretty much. Mm, also, um, I was just going to wait. What was I, what I going to do? Something blue. Oh, the butterfly. There is a butterfly model. I mean, there is there is like yellow ones too, but there is also that. Oh. Oh, my mouse is acting up. No. There's like an orange one too, and like a yellow. Right. We can definitely use those as well. Um, but I was looking for the blue one in particular because you know that one's very special. Thank you, Hana. <laughs> Green and white is going to be my favorite. Or blue. <gasps> yeah, I love the song. I'm most excited for the ruins and moon with Flurry and Hamfrey. Yeah, the, so the ruins, I didn't know I was going to do until today when I thought about, like, the fact that I wanted to be, like, different to the mush parasols. Also, because, like, in black, there is kind of, like, a dark gray version of the, um, of the mush parasols, but it's not, like, perfectly black, kind of. And then I just had that idea today and I kind of, I'm really vibing with it, I think. So I'm like excited for that one too, especially with the moon. Now we have to think about like the landscaping back there because the moon has to kind of be noticeable. Yeah. <laughs> I figured out my theme for Cosmo after I started decorating it. I think generally it'll have a wobbled vibe since I'm doing a kid core mushroom forest. I love that. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. Rude, these people, right? Gosh. It's like in the room. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. 
god, that freeze. Ew. <laughs> Not that. That looked cursed. It wasn't even bedroom eyes that just looked cursed. What the heck? Oh, uh, that was, that was, that was terrible. Anyway, <laughs> Cam froze, but that's fine. We're almost, we're almost done actually. So I, um, yeah, you didn't see good, <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. We are almost done though. So this is totally okay. Um, actually, I think this might be kind of where we leave it for the mood board for now. Um, what I'll just quickly do now just because of, you know, shifting stuff around is I will uh, group these things together. So we'll actually have like separate, just, you know, separate little groups for each of the colors that will make it a little bit easier to kind of shift them around on the um, entire thing and reposition them. <laughs> Bye, Emily's face cam. <laughs> Chat goes on riot again. Yeah, that was a terrible one. I've been kind of expecting it, although I did do a lot of, I did do all like the updates that I, I was able to today. So I don't know why it's, it froze again, but that's okay. That's okay. You can deal with it. All right. So, and now it just has like all of them separately and you can like ungroup them again, but this is kind of nice because now we can shift them a little bit. So I'd like to place Maybe we can bring this in and do create like that circle that we wanted, you know? So how is the, where's the middle part? There is the middle part and there is the middle part. And then the moon kind of goes in between. I want to kind of shift them a little bit lower than the rest though. Kind of like this. All right. The middle, middle part of the island is going to be kind of the colorful area, right? But, um... We are going to be, God, why is the pink taking up so much space? Kind of like this, maybe. The pink is taking up so much space because of the houses, isn't it? I think so. Just remember to tell you my beaches are full with all kinds of flowers. I'm trying to decorate them. So at one point I need to get rid of them. If you need some flowers, I'll be happy to drop some off. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Thank you. I I, I mean, I will probably like go and um, I'm really already annoyed at pink. <laughs> Ursula is a big girl. Don't call out her insecurities. Oh, no. <laughs> we love her, though. She's so cute. I was also talking about the house, you know? The house is the issue. <laughs> yeah, it's just that we have like three houses and two villagers. You know, that's a little bit too much, too much of a of a party going on there, I guess. Okay, we'll bring we'll bring um it's not gonna be perfectly centered, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Um, and now I guess, you know, here we could probably do like a background picture of almost like that green. This is not green, obviously, but I mean, this is, that's creepy. The two, the two faces. And then I just kind of like blur it, I think. Um, I mean, that actually kind of works. Can I do it like tinted, like a little bit of green? Like a little bit of green, I said. Maybe just, oh God, that kind of looks a little fake. Oh, I mean, minus 20 was kind of fine compared to zero. Yeah, minus 20 is kind of fine. So let's see. What do I do with my bed now? I don't even want to sleep on the floor, but I can't sleep in a bed where we, water was spilled. That feeling. Yeah, try to soak up as much as you can with like towels. Yeah. A blow dryer. Love the mood board. Thank you. Are you still deciding between Freckles and Bam? Yeah, I think it's going to be mostly a decision kind of just on the spot when we... Um, I also see Cat's map. No, you don't. <laughs> Stop! I actually went in... Oh, no, I missed it. Yeah, I actually went in and, like, deleted two two pictures earlier of, like, maps that weren't... Uh, that aren't, like, postages yet. I miss yours because yours is like a little further down the road and uh, cats apparently. Oh, dang it. But you don't see the DA on them at least. So yeah, <laughs> you don't see that at least. Okay. 
And there's mine as well. Yeah, but you posted yours, so I kind of kept it there. You posted yours, and then there's also Martina's. Oh gosh, not 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 cats. This is Martina's, but she also posted hers already. <laughs> <laughs> you have an idea of what your house is going to look like. I do. I do. Um, so I want to have the same type of house as on Equilibrio. So the two kind of part house. Um, but it's going to be that like either the cream, like white customization or like a very, um, very light. What was it? Light green or like light blue kind of. Yeah. That was that's kind of the plan. I will probably get it get to that like pretty soon. Also, I can like amiibo flurry in maybe and we can already like, you know, get her house ready. The sneak peek of mine is fine though. I love how it turned out after all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stepped away for about an hour and this mood board is beautiful. Thank you, Sam. Welcome back. Mm. We are Lily, we are. Although I do think we're probably gonna be coming to an end. Um pretty soon like now ish um this is kind of i think where i would leave the mood board so what you can already see is like the different colored areas so we've got red orange yellow and then blue purple and pink um and then this is mostly going to be the entrance section uh which is going to be kind of more like here i guess but because of space uh reasons we're going to have it here and then the middle part is going to just combine all of the different all the different flowers and it's just going to be like a hopefully nicely kind of landscaped area too um we do some hunting maybe i think so here and there we're probably going to be do, doing some hunting yeah um and then you know flurry and hamfrey right at the top with a moon in the middle we've kind of established that they're going to be hit like with ruins all around them and they're going to be like opposites of each other you know Moodboard makes me excited to watch you work on the new island. Yes, I'm like, this is getting me even more excited now. Thank you, everyone. I am going to play the trailer again. Yes, I'm going to actually play the trailer now and after uh, say um, bye bye to you. So I'm going to turn down the music and um, I'm going to play the trailer and I'll see you right after. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, far away in the distance, lived a young witch who had dedicated her power to lifting the curse of a land soon to be her home, soon to be Manny's home. But she couldn't shake the feeling that there was something else out there waiting for her, something that required her help. And she would soon set out to find it. A land different to all the others, dull, without color, simply drained of its life. And she knew she felt it. She felt that this was her new purpose. Even if it meant having to learn new magic and adapting in ways she never considered before, she would do it. Breathe new life into this land, rejuvenate it, restore and preserve the colors. She was going to make it better. All right, you can't see me anymore. <laughs> But yeah, thank you everyone so much for hanging out today. Some also thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Um, I might need to make a mood board to get me excited for my new island. This was such a good idea. Please do it. Yeah. Oh, also, also, if anyone is creating a mood board, um, feel free to share it like in the Discord. I would honestly love to see that. So um, thank you, Gracie. <laughs> And Nicole as well, and Amy, thank you, and Meg, um, and Chloe, thank you so much. This voice reminds me of the Praline voice. I'm sorry. Uh, no worries, Addie. No worries. Okay, so. So with that, um, a lot happened today. A lot, you know, to, to kind of uh, process. I probably will be showing the trailer on like future streams as well whenever we kind of talk about this theme. Um, I don't know exactly when we're going to be starting to work on this because the next step would for probably be to kind of go code shopping. Uh, or like maybe start the landscaping actually, but um, I do have to keep us a, a, like a decent part of the island kind of open for a uh, build war. So I'll kind of keep you updated on that one. Um, but yeah, I think we've we've made like a pretty good progress in terms of uh, in terms of getting inspired and getting excited for this for this theme. Um, 
Thank you all so much for all the hype on the trailer for being so excited about uh, this entire theme and journey and everything. I, I do have to say, looking at the mood board now, I'm getting very excited as well. So um, I hope I can uh, end up bringing the, the vision across and I'm excited to be working on it with all of you here as well. So yeah, um, let me let me think. Today is, today is Wednesday, right? Mm, Chrissy Stone, thank you. I also know you. <laughs> Um, today's Wednesday, which means next stream will be Sunday, uh, Sunday, 5 p.m. CEST, and I think we'll go on, we'll go to work on Naporia a little bit. Um, well, I'll kind of, I'll kind of let, let you know. I also feel like we might be doing some house customizations on Sunday. We have to do so on Naporia. We can start doing so on, um, maybe on Meliora too, like the main house and stuff like that. Anyway, my voice is getting a little raspy, so I will be I will be saying goodbye now. Um, but thank you all so much for hanging out today for uh for Persephone. <laughs> thank you all so so much for um all of the hype, for all of the uh support, the financial support today for lurking, for chatting, and um I'm really excited. I'll be switching to the ending screen now and once again say thank you all so so much for hanging out i hope you have an awesome rest of your wednesday and thank you again so much for just hyping up like every weird kind of over the top idea for island themes that i do have um and going on this journey with me it's always a ton of fun all right thank you all so so much and i'll talk to you very very soon bye bye everyone